Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Praise Lord. It's exciting. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's exciting when the Holy Ghost is with you. Amen. You have an abundance of life, mm -hmm. don't you? Mm -hmm. Yes. When you got the Holy yeah. Ghost. Yes. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I'm Amen. excited. Oh, yeah. Amen. That's I'm good. excited for what God's doing, for where He's taking us. Amen. Thank you, God. We are on the glory train. Yes, Amen. we are. Hallelujah. Glory train. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. And guess what? God always exposes the Amen. devil's tricks and snares and whatever He's trying to do. Yes. Right. That's exciting. Yes, Amen. Amen. But what do we have to do? We have to stay in prayer. Amen. We have to stay with the real saints. Right. Yes. Amen. And God will be faithful to us. Amen. Yes, thank you, Lord. We were just saying that there's safety in a multitude of counselors. Yes, thank you, Lord. Amen. I love being around brothers that are praying brothers. Mm -hmm. I know that they're in the spirit like I'm in the spirit. Amen. That's right, amen. The only thing we're trying to do is please God. Right. He's the one that said only perfect people get to heaven. Right. Amen. How are we perfected? Through the blood of Jesus. Amen. He washes us. Amen. And then he says, go and sin no more. Right. That's right, amen. Right. It's simple. Yeah. <laughs> Make God your all in all. Fall in love with God. Yeah. It's a work of the Spirit. Right. Thank you, Lord. He's just wanting us to obey according to our knowledge. Mm -hmm. Is that too much to ask? Mm -hmm. No. No. When you're married, of course you're not going to cheat on your wife. Right. That's right. When you're married to God, of course you're not going to do what you've agreed not to do. Otherwise, you're not really saved. Right. Yes. If you never agreed with God that you're not going to sin anymore, you're not saved. Right. Amen. Because <laughs> that's what real Christians do. David talked about, you know, renewing, like making a vow to God. Mm. You know, what's your vow? What's your wedding vow, Christian? Right. That I'm not going to sin against the Lord anymore. I, I hid the word in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This is basic 101 Christianity. Yes. Right. But we're living in a time of apostasy. Mm. We are living in a time of great falling away. Yeah. From what? From the church? No, the church houses are packed. Right. From the faith. Right. That was right. once delivered to the saints. Yeah. There's a faith. Yeah. And there's a truth that we are commanded to contend for. That's right. And unless you contend for it, you will lose it. Mm. Because you got to keep pushing back the devil. Amen. Amen. It's like even with my kids, you know, we got a constant people trying to bring in falsehood, trying to bring in worldliness, trying to mm -hmm. defile and, and make them worldly. Mm -hmm. oh, no. And it's the same way with our lives. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. The devil's trying to push and we have to push. Amen. That's what contend means. It means to fight, yeah. to fight. God, yeah. the, the first audible word I've ever heard from God was fight. Yeah. Fight, Jacob. Hallelujah. You're just laying down. What are you doing? Yeah. Amen. <laughs> we can't lay down. Right. That's right. The Bible Amen. commands us to be soldiers. Yeah. Yes. Amen. How do we fight as soldiers? With a sword. Amen. Amen. The sword is the truth Amen. of God's word. It's rejected by this apostate church. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's rejected even by other people that say they're Christians. Right. Jesus said, you can tell them by their fruit. What does that mean? They, that means they won't have bad fruit. Right. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit. What do we not understand? Right. Amen. We got to get these basic 101 teachings. Yeah. Yes. So we are, not, we are not running from the truth. Mm. I remember when God showed me. Praise God, we're getting ready to pray. And then Amen. I opened it up to these brothers. I'm going to be bringing the main word today Amen. on biblical perfection. Amen. Praise God. What it is, what it's not. Is God unreasonable when he says, be ye perfect? No. Even as your Father in heaven is perfect? No. <laughs> Children of the devil, they act like the devil. Children of God, they act like God. Amen. Amen. Right. We're the seed. Yeah. Amen. We're the seed of the righteous. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Bless the Lord. Praise God. Amen. So, yes, we're going to get to the bottom of this. Mm -hmm. God's going to help us. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. Forget what I was saying before that. Uh, but it was along these lines. Amen. Uh, we, have to, we have to get into these scriptures and let the scriptures change us. Yes. Amen. It's faith in the scriptures that changes yes. us. 
They're able to make us wise unto what? Unto salvation. salvation. You're not going to heaven without the word. Right. right. Amen. So we believe what he says. We don't believe, well, I've never experienced that, or all the people in my life don't believe that. Well, mm -hmm. welcome to the last day's Christianity. Right. Very few people are going to believe the word. Right. They believe through their own understanding. I heard the Bible say, believe not on your own understanding. Right. right. Oh, yeah, this is what I was going to say. I remember when God was telling me to be perfect. Mm -hmm. When I first, when he first opened my ears, because mm -hmm. I was crying out and I was saying, God, I need the knowledge of the holy. Mm -hmm. I need your knowledge. I don't know anything. Mm -hmm. I still pray to God like that. Mm -hmm. I don't come to God like I know something. I know I don't know anything how I should know it. Right. You know, compared to him. Right. Remember uh, Job's friends? They were proud. Mm -hmm. They acted like they knew it all. Mm -hmm. That's why God rebuked him. He said, you know what? I'll have my servant Job pray for you. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be those three guys mm -hmm. that thought they knew it all. Mm -hmm. You know? Amen. They were right. proud. Right. Right. And they were false accusers. Mm -hmm. Of God's servant Job, yes. who God said was perfect. Yes. So I remember God telling me to be perfect, mm -hmm. and I was like, "Hold on here, mm -hmm. isn't there scriptures? <laughs> uh, isn't there scriptures? Because the Bible says test every spirit." Mm -hmm. So I was hearing a voice say, "Be perfect." Mm -hmm. I was hearing a voice say, "Be holy mm -hmm. in all your conduct." Mm -hmm. I was hearing a a lot, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I was saying, "Well, there, isn't there scriptures?" Against perfection? Mm. Because we have to make sure that all of the word, in order for something to be true, all of the word has to agree with it. Mm -hmm. Right? Amen. Mm -hmm. So I was having to go back to the Lord and say, no, Lord, <laughs> mm. this can't be true because of this verse. Mm. Paul said he had, he had not attained to perfection. Mm. And then the Lord said, keep reading. <laughs> right. So I, I kept reading Philippians 3 over and over again. Let's start out with that, and then, and, and then we're going to um, turn it over to you, brothers. Amen. This is our opening scripture. Mm -hmm. Amen. Normally, I don't do it this way. You know, mm -hmm. discipleship training, God can have his way. Amen. Right. Amen. He can always have his way, even in mm -hmm. whatever we do. Amen. Philippians 3. Listen to this, saints, because don't get caught up in a bad understanding. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Amen. First of all, we know that we need a King James Bible. Right. If you don't have a King James, then then you you're in trouble already. Because mm -hmm. now it's easier for the devil to deceive you. Mm -hmm. But we got the perfect word. Amen? Amen. Amen. Let's look at Philippians 3. All right, let's start at verse thir um verse eleven of because we want to read this in context, right? Mm -hmm. Let's start at verse 11. Mm -hmm. All right, let's start at verse 10. Amen. That I might know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings, being made conformable unto his death, if by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead. Mm -hmm. So that's the context. Mm -hmm. That he might attain to the resurrection of the dead. Not, mm -hmm. Now read on. Mm -hmm. Not as though I had already attained... Or were already perfect. Mm -hmm. So what is he talking about? He's talking about attaining to the resurrection, mm -hmm. and he's and and that's what perfect means in this context. Mm -hmm. Not that I'd already attained. Attained to what? Per, the perfection right. that he that is in the resurrection. That is in the resurrection. Right. right. Amen. Not as though I'd already attained. Either were already perfect, but I follow after, if that I may apprehend that which also. I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Brethren, I, ca I count not myself to have apprehended, mm -hmm. but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. Mm -hmm. Pause there. Why is this teaching important? Mm -hmm. Because they see Paul mm -hmm. laying hands on the sick and then recovering. They see mm -hmm. Paul walking in the power of the Holy Ghost and they're like, this guy must have rose from the dead. Mm -hmm. And he's saying, no, I haven't attained to the resurrection yet. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? I haven't been perfected yet mm -hmm. according to this resurrection. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
man, we got to get this. Amen. Amen. This is this is because this is what the Lord showed me right. when I was praying about perfection. Mm -hmm. Amen. Fourteen. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Let us therefore, as many as be perfect, mm -hmm. be thus minded. And if anything be, if anything ye be otherwise minded, God shall reveal even this unto you. Mm -hmm. So he's purposely separating this, as many as be perfect. Mm -hmm. He's separating that perfection to the perfection he was just talking about mm -hmm. that he hasn't attained to. Right, mm -hmm. amen. That's very important to understand. Mm -hmm. Do you see it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Lord. 16. Nevertheless, where to we have already attained, let us walk by the same rule. Let us mind the same thing. Mm -hmm. Brother, be followers together of me and mark them which walk so as ye have us for an example. Mm -hmm. So he's saying mark out those, those holy men of God, mm -hmm. those, those good examples, those who are, are living the life, those who are perfect right. in Christ. Right. Thank you, Lord. So we have nothing to boast in if we are perfect in Christ. Mm -hmm. It just Amen. means that we're resting in Him. Amen. Amen. <laughs> That's right. all it means. Right. We're resting in Him. We, right. we're, we're receiving grace mm -hmm. to abide in the place He brought us when He washed us in His blood. Amen. If you haven't been brought to that place, you're not sanctified. Right. Amen. Amen. You got to be sanctified, and then he brings you into a holy place. Yes. The Old Testament speaks of the bringing you into the holy land, mm -hmm. which flows with milk and honey. Mm -hmm. That's where we dwell. That's where the saints dwell. We don't dwell in the wilderness. Right. right amen. We made it out of the wilderness. Do you right. know who's in the wilderness? Disobedient people. Right. People that fall into deception. People that don't have brothers around them to. Pull them out of snares, mm. pull them out of wrong ways mm. that they might fall into. Right. We have that. We're blessed. Right. We have that in here. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So we better thank God for that. Amen. 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 So praise God. We're going to be talking all about this biblical perfection today. Amen. I'm going to go ahead and open in prayer. Yeah. And then we're going to turn it over Amen. to our brothers. Yeah. Amen. They got to. And, and, and uh, Brother Louise is not with us, as you can see in the picture. He was under the weather. Yeah. He's watching online. God bless you, brother. We love you. We're praying for you. He had a, a, some cold symptoms, so he thought it wise to stay at home yeah. and uh, and get built up. Amen. 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 So God bless you, brother. Yeah. He'll be listening online uh, today and tomorrow from the internet, he said. Amen. So he's with us in Amen. spirit. Amen. 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 God bless you, brother. God bless you, brother. We, we love, love you. you. Amen. Let's pray. Yeah. Father God. We thank you for your holy word, Lord. Thank you that when we ask, you answer. Yes, yes. And you open our eyes to the truth, Lord. We have no other agenda other than to be one with you in all things, mm -hmm. which means we have a proper understanding of, of your truth, Lord. And I pray that you would open not only our eyes to have a better understanding, but open the eyes of those who would even be watching online yes. or those who will watch this at a later time. God, we're asking for your power to cut down the lies, Lord, yes, that have held us in our past life. Yes, Lord, help us to deal with the truth of your word, God, so that it would break us free. You said the truth shall make us free. God. God, give us that truth today. God, not only through this biblical perfection teaching, but also through my brother's words, God. Yes, God. You said cursed is the man that holds back his sword from blood. God, give us your word, God. Your word's like a fire, yes, saith yes. the Lord. You said, isn't my word like a fire, saith the yes, Lord? Yes. Isn't it like a rock that breaks, the, or isn't it like a hammer that yes. breaks the rock in pieces? Yes. It is, Lord. Yes. And that's why we love it. Yes. And Lord, you're a shield because we trust in your word. You're a shield to us, Lord, because we yes. trust in what you say. Bless your name, God. We love your you. word is forever. It endures forever, Lord. It cannot be changed it's settled in heaven, Thank you, Lord. and we are depending on it. We've built our house on that rock, and we stand sure. Thank you, Lord. So we pray for the Holy Ghost to speak to us, God. Oh, yeah. Speak to us, all of us. Let everyone 
here in this house and here online to hear what they need, Lord, that every need would be met. Yes, God, God, those who need healing would find healing. Yes, God. God, those who need uh, faith would get faith built up through the word. God, and that we would be ready for judgment day. We would be obedient in all things. As Paul said, this is the proof of you, whether you are obedient in all things. So we believe that, Lord, and we live according to it day by day, moment by moment. Lord, it's all about you. You are the love of our life. You are our all in all. We're not ashamed, God, to make you the God on our throne of our heart, the God of our lives, God. And we pray that you would have your way. Break off chains. Break off sin in people's life. God, help people to find the true Jesus. And let your eternal word reign in our hearts forever by your grace. In Jesus' name we pray. And the church said, Amen. 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 We turn it over to Brother Corey. Brother Corey. Amen. Good and Yeah. Amen. That'd be rather Let me see if I'll look it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yes. Praise God, saints. Lord. And saints online as well. Amen. Um, so I, uh, I'm Brother Corey. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I just want to share a little bit of what the Lord has been ministering to me. Um, as these brothers know, because we have a Bible study and prayer meeting on a Wednesday. So I've been in exodus and proverbs praise god so today um i was in exodus and and i want to share what what god's been ministering to me because man god just yes he's bringing it all together especially you know with the with the topic today biblical perfection and, and what that entails amen so uh like i said i will start off uh, in Exodus chapter 19, verse 3 through 6. Exodus 19? Yep, Exodus chapter 19, verse 3 through 6. Amen. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. All right, I'm there. Amen. Amen. It says, And Moses went up unto God, and the Lord called unto him out of the mountain, saying, Thus shalt thou say to the house of Jacob, and tell the children of Israel, Ye have seen what I did unto the Egyptians, and how I bear you on eagles' wings, and brought you unto myself. Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed, and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people. For all the earth is mine, and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a, and a holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. So this was so encouraging to me. Yes. Because God says that if we obey him and keep his covenant, we shall be a peculiar treasure unto him above all people. Mm. And then in 6 it says, And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. Mm. So, you know, Brother Jacob was saying, you know, when God commands us to be perfect, is he being unreasonable? No, he's mm. just saying to love him and obey him. Yes. You know, yeah. so, yeah, it's just so encouraging. Like the scripture says that, you know, um, we'll be kings and priests unto God you know, during the thousand year reign, we'll reign yeah. as kings and priests for a thousand years. For a thousand years. So, um, yeah, that's God's will is that we keep his covenant. Yeah. And, um, and so as I kept reading, uh, cause obviously God was ministering to me, like, what does it mean to keep his covenant? You know, what does it mm -hmm. mean to be faithful in his covenant and to obey him? Yes. So, so I kept reading and then, uh, so we'll go to Exodus, uh, right next to it, in Exodus chapter 20, verse 18 through 20. Mm. And just for a little context, this is when God came down mm. in fire upon Mount Sinai, and, and there was thunderings, there was lightnings. Mm. And so, so I'll start uh, chapter 20, verse 18 through 20. 
it says, and all the people saw the thunderings and the lightnings and the noise of the trumpet and the mountain smoking. And when the people saw it, they were moved and stood afar off. And they said unto Moses, Speak thou with us, and we will hear. But let not God speak with us, lest we die. Mm. And Moses said unto the people, Fear not, for God has come to prove you, and that his fear may be before your faces, that ye sin not. Amen. So, it's just amazing how good God is. Mm. Because we hear all the time, you know, on the streets, people that they don't really know the word of God, they say, we're not supposed to fear God. Mm. But how much of a blessing is it that Moses just said, he said, God has come to prove you and that his fear may be before your faces that ye sin not. Mm. That's why God wants us to fear him is so that we don't sin against him and break his covenant mm. so that we don't willfully sin against yeah. him. Yeah. Like, I, I believe you just mentioned something about marriage. Um, mm. Um, some along the lines of marriage, but it, it's, it makes me think, you know, you wouldn't cheat on your wife or that that's breaking the covenant of the marriage. Yeah. So when we willfully sin against God, obviously that's breaking the covenant of God. Yes. You know, so it's like, that's why we got to pray. Like you said, to not lean, lean on our own understanding because that's, that's what makes sense is that we be faithful to God. Not yes. that we willfully sin all the time against God. And then we come back to God like like we're your people, like we're married to you, but we cheat on you all the time. That's not a marriage. No. And and in Revelation it says that he who overcomes shall inherit all things. Yeah. You know, us overcoming is not falling into willful sin all the time. It, that's not that's not being more than an overcomer, you know. Amen. Like the Bible says, we're more than overcomers Amen. through yes. him that loved us. Praise Amen. Um Hallelujah. So, yeah, it, so I was just super encouraged by this verse. So I wrote here, keeping God's covenant entails being faithful to God and living holy lives. And the last verse that I will read is in Proverbs, because as I said at the beginning of this, I've been reading Proverbs and Exodus. So um, this was what I got from Exodus. And then today when I was reading Proverbs, it's in Proverbs uh, chapter 16, verse 6. Hmm. Um, the Lord has just been ministering to me. Um along this same topic so god is just faithful when we seek him to just and all these scriptures are coming together like you were talking mm -hmm. about when uh the lord was showing you biblical perfection how yes. you're reading all these verses how they all have to come together yeah so amen in proverbs um chapter 16 verse 6 it says by mercy and truth iniquity is purged mm -hmm. and by the fear of the lord men depart from evil so that's what that's why God wants us to fear him is so that we depart from evil, not so we can be scared and run away from God, you know. Yes. Like it, it's it's a it's a different fear. It's not a fear like if a bear comes towards you, you're gonna run the other way. Yeah. No, it's a fear so we would not run away from him. Yeah. So that we would cleave to him. Mm -hmm. And uh because the cause if we forsake God, he's gonna forsake us, you know. Yes. Like we gotta be faithful to God. I can't remember what scripture says, but yeah, it says if we forsake God, he'll cast us all forever. Yes. Um, so yeah, I was just so encouraged that, you know, God wants us to be his people, you know, a Hallelujah. peculiar people above all people of the earth, Pretty you know, nice. a kingdom of priests yeah. unto God. So that was so encouraging. And um, so yeah, Jesus is the same yesterday and today and forever, just like he wants us to to fear God and depart me. Well, he wanted the same thing for the people of Israel, mm. you know, but obviously we know that, you know, they made a calf and uh, yeah. worship idols. They did all these things. Mm. And the Bible says God was a husband unto them, you know? Yes. So God was faithful to them, but they, they couldn't get things right. Amen. Um, but yeah, God help us to get things right and to be an example and to be faithful in God's covenant so that we can be that people Amen. above all people of the earth. Yes. Uh, a peculiar treasure unto God. Amen. So, yeah, saints, uh, that's what God was ministering to me. I'm just super encouraged um, that that God has chosen us. You know, who are we? You yes. Know, but, but God is just so gracious to us. So, yeah, brothers, um, that's all I got today. God bless you, saints online. 
God bless you, brother uh, Luis. Um, Amen. And God bless you, brother John. Brother Amen. Jacob. God bless Hallelujah. you. God bless you, brother. Hallelujah. Great word. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Getting filled up already. Amen. Yes, praise the Lord. Great word, brother. Amen. Amen. Yeah, it's great word. Super encouraged. Yes. yes. Praise the Lord, brother John. And uh, yes. welcome to uh, Antioch Fellowship of the Elect. Yes. And we're here on discipleship training here today. And uh, the purpose of this is to uh, build up the saints here in the church, to disciple yes. each other and then learn and, and sharpen and, and grow in the Lord. So Amen. we're growing in grace here, and uh, it's a blessing to have a local church. Yes. Uh, as, as Pastor Jacob was saying towards the beginning, you know, there's a lot of people falling by the wayside. There's mm -hmm. a lot of people yeah. uh, in the wilderness right now, you know, being proved, being proven and tried, and, and there are, and there's a lot of people giving up. There's a lot of people that are that are quitting, but um, but mm -hmm. the Lord's, you know, using uh, the brothers and, and sisters that are strong in the Lord to reach out to these brothers. So uh, we're encouraging you to, uh, if you don't have a local church, to to come to Sundays. Uh, come to our Sunday church services. It's live on Facebook and YouTube. Yeah. Uh, every Sunday, we go live about eleven o'clock. Yeah. Uh, right after worship service. Get built and up. So get built up. Yeah. Get built yeah. up. Come and, uh, and and be a part of what God's doing here Amen. online. You may not be able to get here in Ohio, but we get online. You know. So uh, and pray and seek the Lord and ask Him where He wants you because God wants you uh, in a body. God wants you to be part of, of of a local church, even if it's just two or three people. Uh, yes. God's God's got a, a church for you, and until then, uh, come come to our service online. Amen. Uh, Amen. Pray, praise the Lord. I do got a, a little bit of an uh, announcement or two. Um, as you guys know, online that are watching, we have the uh, 2024 uh, Christian Leadership Conference coming up on May 23rd yes. through 27th. Mm -hmm. uh, Jacob and I just did an update video. Uh, yes. On Thursday, yeah, it's on uh, the Dayton Street Preachers YouTube and the Bible Believers YouTube channel, and the registration link uh, is there in that video, uh, or it's at the top of my. Uh, it's pinned to the top of my Facebook. If you're watching on Facebook, or you can go back to the previous video on Dayton Street Preachers and get signed up. Uh, I had another brother text me this morning who uh he's saying hey my wife wants to come now so another brother's wife is coming and, and so we're excited uh that uh, the brothers and sisters are coming in and uh we're making arrangements and uh you know it's getting close you know we're what uh yeah. six seven weeks away yeah six seven weeks away and so we're getting super excited god's doing great things Amen. and uh super excited about all the all these preachers so come be a part of that you know if you're living yeah. holy and you love the lord and and you want to be around uh, saints that uh, are the real deal. I ain't playing games. That ain't playing games. Yeah. Uh, that believe in living holy. And uh, that are living a life that is pleasing in God's sight. Those are the people that are going to be there. Yes. And uh, so we would hope that if that describes you, uh, that you would want to come as well. So uh, we hope to see you at the conference. Amen. 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 And um, Lord God. so, yeah, so praise the Lord. Uh, read a couple verses and i'm gonna share a, a testimony yes. and um, a couple encouragements as well uh so open up to jeremiah jeremiah 12. Let's see it's on my phone I, our phone's on the live stream so my notes are on there so Amen. So just uh, first, th we're going to go with one through three, and then I'm going to flip over to, to Psalms. I'm going to read these, and I want you to see what 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 uh, uh, Jeremiah 12. We're going to read the first just first three verses, mm -hmm. and then yeah. we're going to go over to Psalm 138. Amen. Jeremiah. And I'm going to read Psalm uh, 138 after this. Okay, good. So Jeremiah 12, verse one through three, and then I'm going to read. Um, Psalms 138. Amen. Okay? okay. So I want you to see the, 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 the difference here. And then the testimony is going to kind of tie in mm -hmm. to these hearts. Because today we're talking about biblical. Today Pastor Jacob's bringing a word about biblical perfection. Amen. Amen. And what it means to, 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 to be perfect right. in Christ. Yes. And what it doesn't mean as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so uh, it's really a heart issue. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and, and it all ties back into that. So we're going to see these 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 uh, these these differences here and I want you to just take note as I give this testimony mm -hmm. so 
Jeremiah 12. Righteous art thou, O Lord, when I plead with thee, yet let, yet let me talk with thee of thy judgments. Wherefore doth the way of the wicked prosper? Wherefore are all they happy that deal very treacherously? Mm. Thou hast planted them, yea, they have taken root. They grow, yea, they bring forth fruit. Mm -hmm. Thou art near in their mouth mm -hmm. and far from their reins. Mm -hmm. But thou, O Lord, knowest me. Thou hast seen me and tried mine heart toward thee. Pull them out like sheep for the slaughter and prepare them for the day of slaughter. Mm -hmm. Now remember that. Now let's go over to Psalm 138. Psalm 138. I'll start at verse 2 all the way down to 8. I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise. I'm going to just start at 1, excuse me. I will praise thee, Psalm 138, verse 1. I will praise thee with my whole heart. Before the gods, little g, will I sing praise unto thee. I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. Mm. In, thy, in the day when I cried, thou answered me. Thank you, God. And strengthened me with strength in my soul. Mm. All the kings of the earth shall praise thee, O Lord, when they hear the words of thy mouth. Yea, they shall sing in the ways of the Lord. For great is the glory of the Lord. Though the Lord be high, yet hath he respect unto the lowly. But the proud he knoweth afar off. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me. Thou shalt stretch forth thine hand against the wrath of mine enemies. And thy right hand shall save me. The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Mm -hmm. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. Forsake not the works of thine own hands. Mm -hmm. So this little testimony is going to tie into this heart, this heart issue. So we saw there in Jeremiah... You know that that this he was talking about a people that were made with God's hands. They were they 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 were were his people, but what happened? They were proud and they mm. turned away from him, mm. and so they weren't loving God. Their heart wasn't toward him. Their lips were for him. Yeah. Mm. Their mouth was saying, "Lord, Lord." Yeah. Mm. Their mouth was saying, "Oh, we love the Bible. We love the Word, or yeah. or we yeah. love the things of God." Mm -hmm. But their their reins, their secret part, their heart, mm -hmm. and their mind. Their, their, their secret parts, their, in, their inward parts were not for God, right? Mm -hmm. They weren't for God. But but this heart, it's revealed through this psalm here of the psalmist is, perfect all things concerning me. You know, mm -hmm. perfect me. He, the, the psalmist here was like, I'm just, I just want you, God, with my whole heart. I just, there's nothing that I want but you. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so God's preserving this type of person. Hallelujah. But the one that's not having a heart, fully set towards God, fully postured towards God, mm. what's he doing? God's letting them just, I mean, if they're, if, they're, if, they're, if they're just giving him lip service, if they're just hypocrites, I mean, Jesus told he's going to he's gonna cut them in two and give them their portion with the hypocrites, right? right yeah. God's fat, fattening them up for the day of slaughter. Wow. He's fattening them up for the day of slaughter. So, mm. so, yeah, the wicked are prospering. You know, God tells us not to envy the wicked that are prospering in, in the way. And they look like, the, they, yeah, they look like a, they look like a fruit tree, you know. They look like they're prospering. They look like they're having uh, all the uh, all of this. They're being blessed, and they got the money, and they got the clothes, they got the three cars, and the wife, and the fancy cars, and the vacation. They got yeah. all these things, yeah. but 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 they don't have the Lord, yeah. you know. But they yeah. but they say Lord, Lord. Yeah. They, they act like Christians, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so this leads me into these. So I just wanted to come in to compare mm -hmm. those two those two those two sections of scripture mm -hmm. as I go into yes. this. A testimony, and I haven't shared this with you yet, uh, Jacob. We had we had a call last night, and we had other more important matters to talk about, yeah. and we didn't get a chance to talk about this. Yes. Uh, so yesterday, um, I went into a uh, one of the distribution cent. I'll call it a distribution center mm -hmm. <laughs> for our Bibles. Uh, you know where we just where we we have different places where we get Bibles passed out. As you know, YMCA's and other places where we get these Bibles at flea markets. And then there's this other 
uh, business where we get out Bibles at, mm -hmm. and uh, it's more of a uh, it's more it's, a, it's an automotive center. We'll just call it that. Mm -hmm. It's very very busy in there, and uh, so I went in there yesterday to replenish the Bibles, mm -hmm. and I walk in and. No Bible stand. Where's the Bible stand at? Mm, what? So, but it's, it's not as bad as what it seems, but, you know, but it could be for the heart of the matter. You know what I mean? And that's what I see in these verses, you know, is, you know, saying, you know, Lord, Lord, with your mouth and, you know, saying these things. So, yeah, I'm not a final judge. But so anyways, so I talked to the guy at the counter and um, they decided they didn't have room for the Bible stand. What? They didn't have room for the Bible stand, but they are uh, the owner wasn't there. Um, but they said it was a hard decision for him. But they have a, a, a small little. Well, the good part about it is they have a small little table where you know there's still a stack of Bibles on that table, and then they, they want to if we, if we'll let them, which for now we are. There's a little thing that says please take a Bible, and then has a has the. Um, the QR code if, if they want to get more information and, and give towards the free Bibles. So they're still giving out Bibles, but you know, they were embarrassed. They were embarrassed. The owner wasn't there, but the guys were embarrassed because you know what? I mean, God magnifies his word above his own name. Wow. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word wow, that proceeds from the mouth of God. Wow. I mean, to kick a Bible stand with an open, beautiful display Bible out of your sh shop like Man, that. Where where's, your, where, where's your priority? Where's your, that's what I was. That's, where's your priorities <laughs> at? And one of the ministers, uh, there's actually a minister that works in this place who works in the back, and he came out and followed me out because I had my dolly going in with you know the Bibles, and uh, he came out, and he was he wasn't happy about it either, and um, and so. So anyways, you know, like you said, we were saying, where's your priorities at? I mean, this is, I, I knew God wasn't happy. And so oh, yeah. I was able to talk to him a little bit and minister to him. And, um, he, and he ministered to me even a little bit. And so it was just really sad. Yeah. I just felt the heart of God was like, okay, you want to still have my Bibles on your little, on a little side table, table over table. here. But this was a beautiful stand, an expensive, beautiful book stand. And a beautiful display Bible that would be open and, yeah. and so you know so it just really really these scriptures came to life where it, it, it just seems that people you know they, they want to have the benefits mm. of, of uh, God's Word but they don't want to put his word above everything Ex else exalt everything you know they, they don't want to exalt his word above their businesses or above their homes or you know why do you think God puts I mean there's so many Saints even uh, that we know, we're not the only ones that are that are putting the word all over our, all over our vehicles and everything. There's other people in, in this country. You know what I mean? We, there's yeah. other saints. We even know many of them <clears throat> that are putting magnets on their vehicles. Amen. That are putting, uh, uh, wrapping their vehicles, putting up billboards. There's other people that are doing these things. So yes. you know, Praise God. so it's not something new that just we are doing. Yes. Uh, people are doing this. And here's an encouragement. Um, so the good news is. They're still passing out Bibles. We're still going to take, they still had over 20 Bibles left in there of the four cases that they had. So, um, so I told them I'd check with them, uh, you know, every month or two and just see, and I'd still bring some Bibles into them. Man, I think they were uh, convicted by that Bible. That's exactly what I was believing too, that every time they walked in there, probably, and we're not putting the final judgment on anybody in particular, but I believe that, I believe that it's a good, good, uh, I believe also they were convicted as well of not reading their Bible every day because most most professing Christians are not reading their Bibles every day. Yeah. And so you said you're my disciple if you continue in my word. Amen. And so I believe yes, it was definitely a, a reminder to them every time they walked in the door that big Bible stand with a big Bible right there. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even read my Bible today. It's probably yeah. for many of them it was. Amen. And so yeah, I, I I had the same I had the same thoughts, brother. Amen. Priorities and yeah. not reading their Bible. Yeah. And that's a huge conviction. It's like somebody driving around with an obey, uh, repent and believe the gospel, obey Jesus sign, and they're not they're not living for God. You know Amen. what I mean? Right. He's not in all their thoughts. Yeah. He's not putting them first. Right. They're 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 still in their probably still in their some of them probably still in their sins. I would say. Yeah. And actually, there was one in there that was about to cuss, and I believe he didn't cuss because I was in there. Praise God. And so uh, so yeah. 
a lot of lukewarmers out there, and yeah. most likely most of them that work in there are. Yeah. And so, uh, but good news is, uh, before I came to discipleship training, there's a lot of good news. I got I got a couple of praise reports. Um, first praise report is our uh, uh, mission, uh, Jesus Miracle Power mission down in down in um, in New Orleans. Um, it, we got a, after lots of prayer over the over this past year. I don't know if you guys remember, but back in uh, September of last year, when I was down there for decadence, I had meetings with the New Orleans Mission, uh, which is the mission that is provides all of the. They're, they're pretty much the central mission that takes care of the um, the donations to all the other missions in New Orleans that provide food and stuff like that. So, anyways, um, the good news is uh, they are including uh, our mission in. Their mission again, so they're giving all. The, I mean, Tom talking like van loads of food, like multiple times a week, to a mission that supplies a certain neighborhood in New Orleans, and that had been cut off for like, you know, six to eight months or six nine months or whatever since well since September of, of last since before September of last year. So, anyways, so so anyways, praise report uh, that connection did get made again, and uh, and that they are uh, supplying the, the the food to that neighborhood again through. Uh, through our mission down there. So, anyways, that was that was good news. We just got that that news recently. And then today, before I came into um, before I came into uh, discipleship training, there was a uh, Spectrum Internet guy. My Wi-Fi uh, had a Wi-Fi issue. I had a divine appointment with a guy named Jason last week, and then and they sent another guy out to bury the cable. And so uh, this guy shows up to my house this morning. And uh, he knocks on the door, and I go out there and start talking to him. He's an African guy. His name was Alex, and he loved loved the van. And he loved my magnets, and he's uh, he's like, I'm born again. He's like, he was born again. So we really connected. He ended up taking two magnets for his personal vehicle. Wow. Praise God. And he took a discipleship training, uh, or he took a foundational packet, yeah. and then he uh, also helped our track, and uh, and I gave him a large from Bible as well. Praise so God. So anyway, Praise so God. so you know. Um, so God's just encouraging me that, you know, even sometimes when one door closes, God opens up another door or, you know, and that door didn't necessarily close. They are still getting out Bibles in there. I just think that they're missing out on the, on the blessing that it could have been. You still got to talk to the iron church. Yeah. So, yeah. So anyways, so yeah, so be encouraged saints. Uh, not everybody is a fake. Amen. <laughs> yeah. Most of them are, but be encouraged saying not everybody is a fake. Uh, you know, not you know, there are people out there that, that are serving God with their whole heart, and there are people out there with the heart of yep. God. Please perfect all things concerning Amen. me. Amen. So, without further ado, this teaching on biblical perfection from Pastor Jacob. God bless you. Thanks for yeah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Great word. Amen. Praise God. God. I'm super encouraged already. Amen. You know, and there's a side to Christianity that many people don't talk about too much because it's just not popular right <laughs> and that and that is suffering yeah. you know i i am always crying on the inside yeah. because of the state of people that i see mm -hmm. praise god my wife's on fire praise, praise god, god my kids are on fire Amen. my church by Amen. the grace of god Amen. you brothers are on fire Amen. brother louise is on fire Amen. but guess what like you said, most are not on fire. Right. So guess what? I cry on the inside. Mm -hmm. I cry for them. I, I suffer for them. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's what makes you get out of yourself and right. evangelize. Mm -hmm. And that's why the suffering is good. He said, if you suffer with me, you're going to reign with me. Amen. You got to, he said, blessed are those who mourn now, for they shall laugh later. Yeah. You know, we're going to laugh later. Amen. But uh, he said, <clears throat> he said, uh, Weeping endures through the night, but joy comes in the morning. Amen. So, you know, joy is coming in the morning in the resurrection. Amen. And we have joy even now. Mm -hmm. But yeah. there's a sadness over the land. Amen. You know, our state, the state of things is just very bad. Amen. So, but that keeps us making sure we stay clinging to the Lord. Right. Yes. We're passionate as these brothers were talking about for our covenant relationship with God. Amen. Amen. He is our hope. He is our life. We have to keep our mind on him so that we do not get drowned in sorrow. Amen. Amen. Because our hope cannot be in the president. Uh, hope cannot be in this land, in this world, Amen. because otherwise 
will go down with the world. Right. Amen. Our hope is in the world to come. Amen. Our hope is in the Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, and in his, in his promises in the new heaven and in the new earth. Right. So we are trusting in his promises. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, beloved, having these promises, mm -hmm. let us cleanse ourselves from all mm -hmm. filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness right. and to fear God. Right. That's somebody that is on fire. Right. That is somebody that's pumped up, Amen. somebody that loves God, somebody that sees their calling and is going to grab the bull by the horns and yes. take the challenge. Amen. Amen. Praise God. This is when Christianity gets real. Amen. That's when Christianity gets exciting. Amen. But even when it's not exciting, are you the kind that just leaves God mm. when, when the party's not ra raving? Mm. You know, when when when, pop, when Christianity's not popular? You know, Christianity's popular when everybody's at the Christian conference. Mm -hmm. Christianity's popular when we come to church and everybody else is a Christian. Mm -hmm. But what about when we're alone? Mm -hmm. That's really, I think, what means the most to God mm -hmm. is how we love him even when we're alone. Mm -hmm. That's why he talks about the secret closet, yeah. you know. Uh, talk to your father in secret. That's when the Lord, I man, I feel the Lord being so close to me yes. in my secret prayers. Yeah. I can feel him right there. Mm -hmm. He really cares about you. Yeah. You can't fade away mm -hmm. from him. You, you can't stop uh, praying. You can't stop. No, there's got to be a burden there. Amen. So this is what we're talking about. You know, I wrote <clears throat> I wrote a few notes. Those were awesome words, brothers. Amen. I'm so blessed to have you in my life. Too. You know? You too, brother. Right? You You're a gift. Amen. Uh, I wrote this. Be zealous for the covenant. Mm -hmm. Be zealous for the relationship. Amen. Amen. I'm happy that I, I always tell my wife, I'm so happy I'm married to you. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, that's important, isn't it? And oh, that's yeah. how, what we're saying to God. I'm so happy that I'm married to you. Amen. Married means joined. Mm -hmm. So happy that I'm joined to you. Mm -hmm. So happy that I'm one with you. Yeah. So happy that I'm depending on you. You're so faithful. Amen. You know, there's a, on, a constant relationship there. And, mm -hmm. and you know what? People that don't listen to God, they leave the straight and narrow path. Mm -hmm. and, and what God was really putting on my heart is like, you know, like I've told many parents personally mm -hmm. to get your kids away from secular entertainment. Mm -hmm. And they don't do it. Yeah. And guess what? They leave the path. You know why? Because that's sin. Yeah. He said, come out from among them and be separate. Right. Like you were saying, they God took them out of Egypt, but he couldn't get the Egypt out of them. Right. And if you're letting your kids watch the same world, the same things that the worldly kids have, mm. then you are of the same spirit. Mm. You're of the same spirit of the world, like John was saying. Yeah. Right? They say, they proclaim, but they don't like that Bible in their in their place. Right. Because it's exalted and it speaks to you. Right. Even the presence of that Bible was speaking to them oh, yeah. and they wouldn't listen. They said, get it out of here. Right. Get the Bible out. That's what they kicked the Bible out of everywhere because right. the Bible was powerful. Yeah. Right. The Bible is the only thing that can save you. Yeah. The word of God, the written word of God. That's yeah. what Jesus uses. Amen. Jesus is the word. Yeah. And the written word is Jesus. Yeah. Amen. If you take away the written word, you got a different Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Can I preach to you a little bit? Preach it. Do you have the same heart as I do? Right. Yes. Amen. <laughs> this is why we're making it. Yeah. Because we're 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 going hard after God. Amen. Amen. Our hearts are are fixed. Amen. Our minds made up. Yeah. This place is going down like the Titanic. Amen. But we're going on with our Jesus. Amen. If you want to, if anybody wants to go to hell, we can't stop them. Right. We can try to speak truth to them, but if they don't accept it, that's on there. The blood's on their head. Right. On their own he heads. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's really what biblical perfection is all about, gentlemen. It's yeah. like John said, it's a heart issue. Yeah. Their heart's not in it. We got to get our whole, the Bible says um, this, it says, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature, 
Old things have passed away, and behold, all things become new. And now all things are of God. If you are of God, then everything in your life is of God. Right. Because God doesn't share his glory with another. Right. God doesn't share his glory with wicked entertainment. Right. God doesn't share his glory with, with putting your kids in front of worldly stuff. Right. Where the spirit of the world is. Mm -hmm. We have a different spirit yeah. than the world. Right. So we everything in our life is holy. Amen. Everything in our life is sanctified if you're a real Christian. Right. That's what America don't want. Right. They want Disney. Yeah. Yes. They want another Jesus. Yeah. That allows it. Oh, oh, I, I'm under the blood. No, you're not. If you're not right. sanctified, right. the blood sanctifies you. Right. The blood makes you holy. Right. That's the true grace of God. Right. The grace of God. This is Titus chapter 2, verses 11 and 12. Mm -hmm. the, the grace of God that bringeth so the, the grace of God brings something. Yeah. The grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, yeah. teaching us that denying ungodliness, mm -hmm. denying secular right. entertainment, right. denying ungodliness and worldly lust, right. we should live, this is what the grace of God teaches, yeah. we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. But people don't believe it. They say we're always going to fall. We're always going to sin. We're always going to come short. God's demands are too high. The blood of Jesus isn't enough. And all that is what you're saying through your wicked unbelief. Yeah. Am I telling the truth? Amen. Or am I, or am I being over the top? Sure. That's the truth. Do you see? And, and if you're going to make it, you need to get this heart of the passion of Jesus. Mm -hmm. This is the passion of Jesus. Jesus is frustrated with his church. Yeah. You know why? Because they don't believe the truth. Yeah. That's what he was always rebu rebuking his disciples for. Mm -hmm. Because they didn't believe. Mm -hmm. you got to embrace the truth. Mm -hmm. Believe it. I don't care. He said, lean not on your own understanding. Mm -hmm. Quit thinking that you... that See, look, there's an automatic filter that we think through. And, and there's an automatic filter that we read the word through. Mm -hmm. And that filter can blind you and stop you from believing every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Mm -hmm. Am I telling the truth? Oh, yeah. And what is that filter? That filter can be like lies from your past religious life. When you were growing up and you were in the Baptist church and they were saying nobody's perfect, we all sin. That can stop you from believing, be ye perfect even as your heavenly father's perfect. Right. You got to make sure that you're you're baggage in your mind doesn't stop you from believing the word and going to heaven right because unbelievers well they're part in the lake of fire yeah. we always think of well that's an atheist no that's somebody that reads the word and says that's impossible right all things are possible with god right. amen. amen somebody getting fired up amen. amen there's a fire in me to believe the word amen. i don't care what i think I, I i'll punch myself in the face if i don't believe right amen. I'm not kidding. Right. You know why? Because I'm on fire for Jesus. Yeah. Because I'm passionate for the truth. Right. The only thing that's going to set you free is the truth of God's word. He said, be perfect. Amen. And it should make you mad that people don't believe that. Yeah. It should make you angry that people don't believe. It makes God angry yeah. enough to put you in the lake of fire forever right. for saying you can't do it, saying that it's impossible. Right. You're calling God a liar. Yeah. Bible says, let God be true, and every man a liar. Yeah. If there's anything to be passionate about, it's about God's word. Amen. You got to believe all of it, or you don't believe none of it. Right. You'll be double-minded in all your ways yeah. if you don't believe God's word. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's why we do these packets, because all of it is proving the truth. Mm -hmm. All of it is every word of God is pure. Mm -hmm. Every word of God is sure. Mm -hmm. Every word of God is complete. Every word of God, it doesn't lack anything, and it doesn't contradict itself Amen. in one spot. Yeah. Amen. So, you need to be preached the word of God so you believe it. Amen. And you can't preach the word of God unless you believe it. Right. How are you going to preach if you don't believe the whole truth? Mm -hmm. 
And how are you going to be set free? How are you going to continue to walk in faith if you don't have the faith of what this book says? Mm. Our faith is in what it says. Right. Amen. Not in what we think. That's why it's a big deal to believe. Right. Amen. That's why they kill people. Yeah. Will your will your gospel get you killed? Mm. Will your gospel get you? Yes. Yeah. Our gospel would get us killed. Yeah. In countries that kill people. But a lot of people, the world's not even offended at what they believe. Right. Yeah. Jesus said, blessed are you, blessed be you when you're not offended in me. The word of God's offensive to the flesh. Right. But you got to humble yourself. That's why you got to humble yourself because it's like everything in you saying, no, I don't like this guy. I don't like this Jacob. I don't like this preacher. This isn't Jacob. This is a new man. Right. Born again. Right. Amen. Holy Ghost filled. Fire filled. Amen. Right. So I'll fill you with the Holy Ghost and fire. Right. To burn out all your stupid thoughts. Amen. So you think like me, because my thoughts are above your thoughts. Amen. My ways are above your ways, saith the Lord. Amen. Thank you. Am I telling the truth? Yeah. That's why God has to kill you. Yeah. You're at enmity with God without Jesus, Amen. without thinking like Jesus, without the word of God. Mm -hmm. And the blood is there to bridge you. Mm -hmm. The blood, blood is there so that to give you grace to hear. Amen. Amen. But you got to choose to believe. Yeah. It's never going to be God's fault on judgment day. God kept sending you preachers. God mm -hmm. kept sending you people that believe the full unadulterated word of God. Yeah. The full counsel, they call it. Mm -hmm. The full counsel of the gospel. Yeah. Amen. This is a gospel of deliverance. Mm -hmm. There's no sin. There's no devil in hell that can stop you from being perfect. Yeah. Amen. But your own mind, yeah. your own stubbornness, yeah. your own wickedness right. in your heart. Right. That's what, that's what was wrong with the disciple with uh, Israel. Mm -hmm. They didn't want to accept the word. God kept saying, when will these people believe me? I'm going to kill them all, Moses, and start over with you. Mm. And praise God, Moses interceded and said, Lord, give them a little bit more time. Sounds like Jesus. Mm. Give them a little bit more time. Let me dig around this tree and yeah. get some dung in there. Mm. <laughs> some fertilizer. Mm. Yes. To see if I can get this thing to wake up. Amen. Even when all the people were dying around them, just like today, mm. people are dying. We were just talking about earlier. They're falling on the left side, falling on the right mm. side, and they're mad at us because we're standing at the, on the truth and telling them bold face, standing on holiness, get right, stay right, mm. be on fire, fall in love with God. Right. You got to cry out to God. You got to expose yourself mm. to God and say, I'm a fake. I was a fake for many years, a fake oh, yeah. and a snake yeah. for many years. Mm. And I had to go to God and I exposed mm. myself to everybody. And I said, I've been a false teacher. I've been a liar. I've been leading you people to hell. Mm. Guess what? They didn't care. They went to the next person to lead, lead them to hell. They want to go to hell. They think they're going to live ungodly and still get into heaven. Are you liking this preaching? Amen. Amen. The saints love the word of God. Amen. The saints love the fire of God. Amen. Oh, they're just happy that somebody else is passionate about Amen. the word the way they are. Right. It's the only thing that matters in life. Yeah. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will endure forever. Right. Man should not live by bread alone, but by every word yeah. that proceeded out of the mouth of God. You ain't living without God's word. Right. You ain't alive without God's word. Right. You need somebody to come till. Till your soil and break you up and challenge you and confront you in your wrong thinking right. and in your wrong doctrine. Right. Guess what? A little leaven in your doctrine is going to leaven the whole lump. Amen. Yeah. A little leaven in your doctrine is going to leaven the whole lump. You give a little room for you to wiggle. No, I'm I'm asking God to keep me in the straight jacket. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I ain't trying to wiggle out of God's commands. I'm saying, God, perfect all things concerning me. That's right. Brother John's saying. That's right. That's, right. That's what a true saint's, he's broken. 
to be fully pleasing to God. He's broken for it. Amen. God, I know, I know I'm nothing. Yes. I know it's going to be a miracle. I know it's going to be every day is a miracle. Every moment's a miracle. He's keeping me by his keeping power. Amen. This isn't about striving in your flesh. This right. is about you tapping in to the grace of God. Amen. That Amen. brings salvation. Amen. Because yeah. that grace will keep you. That's right. And putting on your armor and living a spiritual life with all your heart. Living a life worth living. Amen. Everything. Yeah. If you're a hypocrite, you don't have a life worth living. Right. You're you're a fake. Right. You God despises you. Right. That's what the Bible says. Yeah. He despises fakes. He despises mm -hmm. people that won't come all the way in. Mm -hmm. So that's what perfection is about. It's meant to it's meant to push you in. It's meant to kick you on the backside so that you go in. Right. That you get off the fence. Right. People on the fence. Yeah. Thinking that they're fooling God. Right. You ain't fooling nobody but yourself. Right. The Bible says, be a doer of God's word and not a hearer only, deceiving your own self. Mm -hmm. You're deceiving yourself if you're not doing what God says. Right. Yeah. yeah. And be perfect will will put the burden on you. And I'm not saying I, I have listen, I have peace, I have rest. I'm not in condemnation. Right. I'm in Christ Jesus. My I'm getting filled up every day. Right. I'm growing. Right. So the devil wants to uh turn perfection into something else. He's done a really good job of this. Of turning perfection into something else to get you not to believe in it. Hasn't he? Right. Yeah. He has mastered that in America. And that's why America's on a roller coaster down to hell as fast as it can go. Right. Because the devil convinced you that God's word isn't true. Yeah. Just like in the garden, has God said? Mm. Did God really say that? Mm. That's why we got to preach it. Yeah. That's why I got to bring this word. Mm. The Lord put this in me. Right. Amen. To preach it. The saints need preaching too, right. so that you won't let the devil knock you off the rock of his word. Right. It's be holy. It's holiness or hell. Right. God's looking for soldiers that will stand flat-footed on holiness and not move when all hell's coming at them, when everybody's attacking them right. on every side. Right. That's who's going to stand right. through these last days. Amen. That's who's going to have the strength. Amen. Amen. To be a radical soldier yeah. for Jesus Christ. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So perfection's all about two things. Love and holiness. Mm. Love and holiness. Because Can you can't be holy without love, and you can't love without holiness. Amen. Mm. Those two things are married like a rope, mm. intertwangled. Mm. And of course, all those things are in Christ. Mm. That's in Christ. Right. That's the only true love mm -hmm. and true holiness. Right. This is about a loving relationship. Right. A real relationship. Mm -hmm. And God has taught me from day one to be a praying person. Mm -hmm. I've seen him answer my prayers day after day after day now for years. Yeah. Amen. From the very beginning, mm -hmm. when I first got born again, I was going to Bible studies where they believed that everybody was going to have sin. Mm -hmm. Guess what they were watching? Built on the TV. Right. Why? Because there was no standard. Right. When the Spirit of the Lord comes in, a standard will be raised against him. That's right. The Amen. standard pushes out the fakes. Amen. But guess what the church did? Pushed out the standard. Because yeah. they're fakes. Yeah. So you're either going to push out the word or the word's going to push you out. Right. Do you see why they don't want it in their business? Because mm. they're fake. Yeah. I don't care if they're listening. You need to <laughs> repent. Amen. Right. You don't want the word of God in your own. You're foolish if you don't want the word of God. We'll take you know what? If you won't let us put our, our Bible stand there, we don't want to give you free Bibles. Right. We don't want to enable you in your disbelief and right. your unbelief and your rebellion. Yeah. This is our system. Yeah. We want to display and exalt the word of God. Right. Amen. Not enable you in your weak faith. Right. Amen. Good word. So I say if they don't want the Bible stand, then we're going to take it somewhere else. I Amen. I agree. I, wouldn't, I didn't want to make that decision yet, though. No. Amen. Yeah. That's what's on my heart. Yeah. Amen. 
because they don't deserve it. They're not worthy. Yeah. Jesus said, if you don't hate mother or father, mm -hmm. brother, sister, right. wife, yeah. uh, daughter-in-law, sister-in-law, mm -hmm. if you don't hate them, you're not worthy of me. Mm -hmm. That means in comparison to our love and commitment and devotion, this is why I'm acting like this. Mm -hmm. Because this is... What God builds in you is a love and a passion to be able to love him in this way. It, it looks like hate to the world. That's why they say you're hateful. No, I'm loveful. Right. right. <laughs> I'm, lo I'm in love with God. And he, this is how God is. He's like, it's my way. He's like, you can't even be my friend if you don't do whatsoever I command you. Right. Why? Because this is about a loving relationship. Right. This is about a passionate relationship. What kind of relationship does, <laughs> does Jesus want? Mm -hmm. Does he want the whore of Babylon? Mm -hmm. Does he want you whoring around on him? I mean, think about having a wife like that. Mm -hmm. Think about Hosea's wife. Mm -hmm. and, people, and people use that mm -hmm. story to say, look, God's married to the backslider. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah? Well, you need to check your uh, your Bible a little bit better because look what happened to all Israel in the wilderness. Right, right. God killed them and put them in hell. The ground opened up and swallowed them. Right. Yeah. While you're over there sinning against God, saying I'm like I'm like the prostitute in Hosea, mm. God's still married to the backslider. Mm. No, you're rebellious and you're going to hell. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. No, I was about when I went in there with that. Uh, one second. Yeah, when I went in there, because I didn't let it all out. <laughs> when I went in there and they went, and that Bible study, Bible stand wasn't in there, and I found out why I wasn't in there. Believe me, brother, I was about to have a preach right up in that place. I would have been fine with it, but I, but I wanted to wait and just come. Yeah. I wanted to pray. We, to we pray about everything. You talk to the army. Yeah, we pray about everything. So I don't, mm -hmm. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to mess that up. So. That's good restraint. Yeah. So. Because hey, it's kind of like wipe the dust off your feet yeah. right. if they don't want it. But but yeah, just take it out of there. Right. You know, if you ain't, it's almost like them judging themselves unworthy of everlasting life. That's it. Yeah. That's the word. Yeah. They're judging themselves unworthy. And that's right. what I was trying to say is you're not worthy of me. Mm -hmm. right. Through those verses, mm -hmm. if you put your hands to the plow and turn back, you're not fit for the kingdom. Mm -hmm. You know, if, you, if you're loving these people more than me, you're not worthy of me. Mm -hmm. Right. All these things. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So praise God. So biblical perfection, that, that was all just a, a precursor. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that was just a pre-word for Amen. biblical perfection. Amen. Let's read it there. Disclaimer. This is not the doctrine of sinless perfection. Mm -hmm. You know what sinless perfection believes? Mm -hmm. Is that once you become a Christian, you can never sin again. Mm -hmm. As in, it's impossible for you to sin. Mm -hmm. No, we know that if you don't abide in Jesus, you will sin. Mm -hmm. right. The Bible says... If we abide in him, uh, whosoever abideth in him sinneth not, mm -hmm. in 1 John 3, 6. Mm -hmm. So we don't believe in sinless perfection. Right. We believe that uh, it's very possible for you to sin in this wicked age. Mm -hmm. And that you got to be diligent. you got to be on guard, the Bible says. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Yeah. So this is not the doctrine of sinless perfectionism. Mm -hmm. What biblical... Perfection is not. So first we'll talk about what biblical perfection is not. Biblical perfection is not being perfect in knowledge. Mm -hmm. They are not free from ignorance or mistakes. That's why the Bible, I believe the Bible says, if we sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. There's, a, there's, there's, a, there's a security there. Because mm -hmm. they try to accuse people that believe in perfection they try to accuse us of having no security. Mm. No. It is like a tightrope, but mm. the secret is, is that when you have the big stick mm. and you learn to walk with that tightrope, it's actually easy. Amen. It's actually hard to fall off that rope mm. because you, you've learned to use that walking stick mm. that they use on the tightrope. Mm. So the secret of the, of the Lord is with those who fear him. Mm. And to them he will show his covenant right. Amen. Amen. so yeah if you're in the flesh it feels like it's impossible mm -hmm. right. he enlarges our, our, our steps to our footprints too that we don't slip like he yeah. makes your feet bigger like where it's like you know it's, yeah it makes it easier yeah you know, because it's him yeah, yeah. So. 
Amen. Amen. No, that's a perfect, perfect analogy. Amen. You know, his commandments are not grievous. Amen. Right. Like it's easy to walk with the Lord once right. you start walking with the Lord. Amen. Right. Amen. <clears throat> once you have this heart. Amen. Yeah. So you're not free from ignorance or mistakes. You're you're growing, you're changing, you're learning. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. You should be. <laughs> right. We're perfecting our understanding. Mm -hmm. The Bible says we're growing in knowledge and in grace. Mm -hmm. So biblical perfection is not perfection of your body. Mm -hmm. As long as you have these bodies, they will not be perfect. Mm -hmm. And as long as we are in these bodies, we will have to deal with temptation from time to time. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now, if you're being tempted all the time, there's a problem there. Yeah. Uh, you need to pray that you would not enter into temptation like yeah. Jesus taught us in the Lord's Prayer. Yes. Mm -hmm. Something's wrong if you're always being attacked, always being tempted, right. always under distress. Right. That's not normal right. for a Christian. The Bible talks about Christians have peace. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. But there could be times where you are under a lot of warfare. Yes. Amen. Don't give up. Amen. Amen. Fight fast. Pray through it. Amen. Mm -hmm. And as long, okay. And then I said, if Jesus was tempted, we also will be tempted at times. Mm -hmm. Okay. Biblical perfection is not being, is, I'm sorry. Biblical perfection is being morally perfect. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Amen. By the grace given by God through the Spirit according to the knowledge of the individual. So you can only obey according to the knowledge. Mm -hmm. The good news is, is that God puts his law in your heart if you're born again. Amen. So it's not like anything is is uh, hard to understand. Everything is obvious Amen. when you are when you have the Holy Spirit. He enlightens you Amen. to what is holy and what is unholy. Mm -hmm. you, you might be being dishonest with yourself, mm -hmm. you know, right. and saying, well, I don't feel any conviction on this. Well, listen, God don't always got to convict you of everything right. in order for you not to do it. Right. Sometimes you just know it ain't right. You don't do it. Why has God got to convict you of everything? Right. Amen. Is that a good word? Oh, yeah. A clear conscience and a compliance to everything God has instructed them. That's what biblical perfection is. You got there. You got a clear conscience. There's nothing you're doing that's against your conscience. Mm -hmm. Absolutely no willful sin in biblical perfection. Mm -hmm. When anything is brought to light as being less than holy, it is dealt with immediately. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Oh yeah, God's faithful. If you are one of his and you are feeling like something ain't right, you take it to him. God is faithful. You gotta listen right. and depart. Amen. You gotta listen to those little signs, because if you don't listen to those little sensitive signs, mm. you'll be in trouble. Yeah. Yes. Amen. This is the ministry of the Holy Spirit to perfect you. If we abide in Jesus, we will not sin. 1 John 3, 6. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have to deal with the P word. In the Bible, God commands his people in many places to be perfect. In many places. Oh, yeah. What does it mean when he says be perfect? We will discuss what is the definition of biblical perfection and how to obtain it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. God's expectation and command for per for perfection. God's expectation and command for perfection. Mm -hmm. Revelation 3, 1 through 3. And unto the angel of the church of Sardis write, These things saith he that hath the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know thy works, that thou hast a name, that thou livest and are dead. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. For I have not found thy works perfect before God. Remember therefore how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. Amen. Listen, I grew up in a church that is no longer existent. Mm -hmm. I grew up in a church that God plowed to the ground. Mm -hmm. That they tore the whole building down mm -hmm. and the people were scattered. Why? Because they didn't fear God. They didn't believe in perfection, obviously. Mm -hmm. They have they had a little leaven in there. Mm -hmm. 
So, I know from experience that perfection is the right way. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I used to not believe in it, and God spoke to me. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because I was crying out, saying, "God, what is your way?" Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what He said? It's straight and narrow. Yeah. Few people find it. Amen. Right. Yeah. Amen. Word. That's it. Yeah. And I love it. Right. I love the fire, of God. I, I love the straight and narrow because there ain't no. There ain't no hypocrisy. Right. He said, let yeah. love be without hypocrisy. Amen. That's right. Amen. You guys aren't in a hurry, are you? Oh, no. no. Genesis 17, 1 through 2. And when Abraham was 90, 90, and he was 90 years old and nine. So 99 years, mm -hmm. the Lord appeared to him and said unto him, I am the almighty God. Walk before me and be thou perfect. And I will make my covenant between me and thee and will multiply thee exceedingly. Mm -hmm. See, you, Lord. this is who God makes a covenant with. Mm -hmm. You got to come back to the beginning mm -hmm. when you believed God's word. Yeah. He was saying, this is the beginning. I'm going to make a covenant with you. Mm -hmm. But you got to always be mindful of me. See, people don't want to always be mindful of God. Because mm -hmm. that's what perfection demands. That you that God's in all your thoughts. Right? So that's why people don't want to let go of everything. Right. To do it God's way in every way. But that's the only way that fulfills. That's the only way the the power and the fulfillment of God will be in you. Yeah. I have found the fountain of life. Yeah. And his name is God. Hallelujah. His name is Jesus Christ. Thank Amen. you, Lord. He said, this is eternal life. This is life. This is the fountain of life. Yeah. Everybody wants to live forever. They want to freeze their, they're freezing their bodies now. The, the people in Hollywood, they're paying millions of dollars. They die and they freeze their bodies so that if they come up with a solution on how to live forever, uh, they can revive them and make, bring them back to life. Right. Well, guess what? We already got the answer. Yeah. But they weren't willing to give up their life in this life in order to get it. That's the problem. Yeah. You gotta give up your whole life. Yeah. Amen. All of it. Yeah. To do it God's ways. Mm -hmm. Acknowledge him in all your ways. Amen. And he shall direct your path. Why is he not directing my path? Because you're still letting your kids watch filth. Right. Mm -hmm. You still got Star Wars in there. Yeah. Don't tell me the Christians aren't doing it. I, I went from church to church. I've seen the same thing. I didn't find one church doing the right thing. Right. Oh, brother, you're being a little tight. No, I'm not. Right. I was hoping. I was telling my wife with all of them, I believe this is a real church. I believe these are the real people of God. Yeah. You're not the people of God if you're doing right. this stuff. Right. You're deceived. You're religious, but you're not saved. Right. You're religious, but you're not sanctified. Right. That's loving to say that. Mm -hmm. I'm brokenhearted. I suffer for that truth. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, as you grow in wisdom, you grow in sorrow. Yeah. Right? You suffer with Christ. Mm -hmm. You know, God suffers more than anybody. Mm -hmm. He sees all the filth, mm -hmm. all the wickedness, all the betrayal of people that used to serve him, people that used to be faithful to him, mm -hmm. breaking his heart, have left him. God closed his heart. Off to him. You know what God said to Jeremiah? We were talking about it earlier. He said, stop praying for him. Stop praying for him, Jeremiah. I'm done with them. Don't tell me he's married to the backslider. He divorced Israel right. at one point. Right. Is that what God deserves, a backsliding church? He ain't going to put up with it. Look what he did to America. Is he going to put up with it? No. He just showed you what he's going to do. Right. He's going to kick him out to the curb. You want to eat with the dogs? Go be with the dogs. Right. right. Amen. Right. That's what God says. Amen. Amen. My people are holy. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Matthew 5, 48. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. 2 Corinthians 13, 11. Finally, brethren, farewell. Look at Paul. Be perfect. Yes. That, that was in his closing statement. Mm -hmm. 
What, what, what if we said that to one of our friends today? Mm -hmm. If I sent you a letter, mm -hmm. well, praise God, you would know that it's the truth. Amen. Yes. A lot of people would not receive it as the truth. Right. We mean, brother, be perfect. Because mm -hmm. they ain't got the truth. Right. They're being deceived. They're being led away. They're like a drifting piece of something drifting away, mm -hmm. cast away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what a castaway is. It's something that drifts away. Mm -hmm. See, you think you think you're safe, you think you're secure, but you rejected the word. Mm -hmm. You despised the word. Yeah. So let me read this. Second, Second Corinthians 13, 11. Finally, brethren, farewell. Be perfect. Mm -hmm. Be of good comfort. Be of one mind. Live in peace. Amen. And the God of love and peace shall be with you. Amen. That's why they don't want a King James Bible. Because they changed that. Yep. Amen. Yep. We just want it to mean mature. Right. Right? Complete. Right. Complete. Yeah. Well, even though those things might uh, be included in on that definition... It's not the word perfect. The word right. perfect is what the devil hates. Right. The word perfect is what has backslidden the church. Right. Right. And what's taken away the power. Right. Because it leaves no wiggle room. It like leaves no reason. wiggle room. Right. Amen. It, it causes you to come all the way in and stay in. And be holy. And be holy. Yeah. And it confronts you in every one of your thoughts that's not Amen. taken captive. Amen. And it causes you to take captive every thought mm -hmm. to the obedience of Christ. I love it. I love perfection. Yeah. Perfection and obedience and holiness saved my soul. Yeah. You know why? Because it's the truth. Right. And the truth shall make you free. That's yeah. right. You'll be saved by his word. Yes. When you believe it. Amen. Yeah. So for years I was in bondage. I didn't know what was causing me to stumble. Well, I didn't believe his word. Right. I didn't know his word. Right. I didn't hear anybody preach this. I didn't hear this on YouTube. Right. What a blessing if you're hearing this on YouTube. Amen. Right. You are blessed. Right. This is very rare. This is like a diamond in the rough. Right. We're not, we're not boasting in ourselves. We're just saying this truth. Right. Everybody's got a Bible around the world. A lot of, a lot of them got King James. They right. still don't believe it. Right. They fight me. Everywhere I go, they fight me. I give them packets. With a hundred verses to say to be perfect and they don't believe it. Right. And I cry. Mm -hmm. How does God feel? Mm. Amen. Does anybody else Amen. Uh, feel the same way? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. I think we got some saints in here. Amen. By God's grace. Amen. John 8, 11, She said, No man, and Jesus said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin a little bit more. No. No. no go more. and sin no more. No more. Right. He meant it. Right. He doesn't say things uh, halfway. He doesn't right. say things. When he says something, you got to hear it as a command. Right. That's what it means to have uncircumcised ears. Right. Is that you hear a command, you hear the authority of the word of God. Right. That's authoritative, saint. Right. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. That's how you know people don't know God. They don't hear authority when they hear the word of God. Mm -hmm. If I say that's the word, I'm I'm listening. Right. Because I know life and death hangs whenever God speaks a word. He's looking, he's judging the hearts and the minds to see if if they're hearing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If they're believing. Right. Those who believe get off their rear and do something. Amen. Right? Amen. Praise the Lord. And they say, yes, Lord. They don't say nobody can do that. Amen. What a what a spit in the face. If somebody said that to me, I would be so disrespected. Mm -hmm. I would try to reason with them. Mm -hmm. You know, and say, no, this is this is the truth. But this is so disrespectful to talk to God and say, you don't know what you're talking about. Right. No, your definition of perfection might be wrong. That's a possibility. Right. Mm -hmm. But when he says be perfect, that means we got to find out what the Bible defines as perfect. Mm -hmm. 
And that's the definition of it. Amen. So God expects the new Christian to go and sin no more. Amen. So why are you? Why are some not set free? Because they are not willing to cry out to the Lord until they have been made free. And they're not willing to give up what, what's holding them back. You must seek the Lord with all your heart every day, and he will make sure you are getting the grace you need to be free. But as long as you try to obey out of your own strength, you will fail. Amen. The truth is, is most people think they're saved before they're actually saved. Mm -hmm. Remember, this is a relationship in which we are dependent on him for our salvation. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. You know, the thing that just stuck in my mind was there's this uh, thing that I heard one time is that there was a monkey and they gave they gave the monkey a banana and his hand had to stick through the bar mm -hmm. and as long as he was trying to bring it in he couldn't bring it in and he wouldn't trust them to let go so that he, they could bring in the banana the right way mm -hmm. and that's kind of like how it is with sin mm -hmm. right you want to try to do things your way, and you can't trust the Lord mm -hmm. that he's going to provide your need if you let go of your sin. Mm -hmm. Because you're saying, no, this is my security. Mm -hmm. I can't trust you. I, I trust this. For me, it was chewing tobacco. Mm -hmm. I trust this thing. Mm -hmm. And this is where you've got to let go of that thing, or you're not going to be free. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're not going to go to heaven. You're not going to be a real Christian yeah. if you don't let go of what is disqualifying you. Right. And that's the sad thing, right. is that you're like the monkey mm -hmm. that's trying to pull in the banana, but it's the wrong way. Right. Mm -hmm. It's this way, so it won't fit. Right. But you won't trust the master mm -hmm. to take it away from you, mm -hmm. to give you the food the right way. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Yes, thank you, Lord. John 5, 14. Afterward, Jesus findeth him in the temple and said unto him, Behold, thou art made whole. Sin no more, lest the worst thing come unto thee. Mm -hmm. I love Jesus. Amen. Because he, he says, listen, you think this is bad? You've been sitting here on the side of the pole for, what was it, 38 years or something? Mm -hmm. You think this is bad? Something worse is going to come upon you if you don't stop sinning. Right. That's a good fear. Mm -hmm. Right? Oh, yeah. That's why I love Jesus' word because he tells you the truth that you need to know to be free, to fear right. God. Yes. It says, by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. Thank you, Lord. Right? Amen. Amen. So God expects, okay. God expects the new believer to stop sinning and have a clear conscience that he is in complete compliance to the Lord at all times in every way he knows. I don't know how people can just do stuff that they think might be wrong. Like, that would drive me crazy. No, no. you got to be in complete, like, you got to have a clear conscience and you got to know, you got to be in complete compliance to the Lord at all times in every way. And if not, something's terribly wrong and, and you're perishing. Mm -hmm. You're sinking. Mm -hmm. Listen, my security is in obedience to Jesus. Mm -hmm. That's my security is Jesus. Yeah. If I'm not in obedience with him, then I don't have that security. It's that simple. Right. Mm -hmm. But people don't like that. That's too, that's too tight. That's mm -hmm. too rigid. They call it rigid now. Mm -hmm. No, it's tight, but it's right. Right. Yeah. How else? I mean, I, that's how I would do it if I was the Lord. Because mm -hmm. I don't want anybody that don't really love me. Right. Yeah. You've got to really love them mm -hmm. to be that passionate. Right. Yeah. You, to be that close to them. Mm -hmm. To where even, even the, the, the little twinge of something that God feels, I feel. Mm -hmm. I believe he gives me his thoughts when we're... All the time, he gives me his thoughts because oh, yeah. I'm one with him in the spirit. Mm -hmm. We believe that we are speaking the word of God. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Amen. With the heart of God. Mm 
by the Spirit of God. Right. Lord. We know we are. If there is anything causing a breach in the conscience, it is corrected immediately. See, that's where there's safety. God, hey, just correct it. When you hear when you hear the word, correct it. Right. God forgive me. I did and and your mercy has never stopped. Amen. But once you get proud, now you can't do that. Right. Because now you got this reputation to keep up. Mm. Oh, I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm a uh, open air preacher. <laughs> I'm a prophet. I'm right. a this. I'm that. You ain't nothing right. without right. Jesus Christ. That's right. right. Got to stay small. Amen. Amen. Fear God and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Thank you, Lord. That's why you're created to fear God and keep His commandments. Bless the Lord. Amen. You go outside of that, you go to hell. Right. Mm -hmm. Psalms 119, 101 says, I have refrained my feet from every evil way that I might keep thy word. Thank you. Oh, David, you didn't refrain. You can hear the devil, can you? You can hear these fake Christians. Yeah. They'd attack David in a heartbeat. Man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They don't have no heart of David. Mm -hmm. If you're disagreeing with David's with what David said. You know the saddest part too, brother? Mm -hmm. Is all the all the things that David says, you know, he stored up his heart word in his heart that he might not sin against him. He's refraining his feet from every way that he might keep his word. All these things that David said. And the one thing that they do to justify their sin is Bathsheba. Mm. That's what they say. That's the one thing they use against David. They're like, yeah. well, David sinned with Bathsheba, you yeah. know, to say nobody's perfect, to, to say justify their, yeah. you know. It's yeah. just sad that all these things, you know, about being perfect and living holy. Mm -hmm. And the one sin that David did with Bathsheba... Mm -hmm. They highlight that, but they don't look at all the other things, you know, Amen. about how, you know, when he did sin in, in Psalm 51, you know, how he repented and said, you know, uh, you know, have mercy on me. And he said, create me a clean heart and all these mm -hmm. things. So, yeah, people, people can justify their sin in any way they want. Yeah. You know. Oh, yeah. They use the word. Yeah. yeah the devil, the devil uses the word. Yeah. And then the people use the word. Because right. they're children of the devil. I yeah, understand. like I saw this post on Facebook. It was it like just along these lines. It was like um, it basically saying how nobody's perfect. Like it had like mm -hmm. pictures of like people like Moses. It said like Moses was a stutter, and then mm -hmm. it said like Jacob was a cheater, and then it said like other people it, like highlighting their sin to mm -hmm. say like I think the quote was like God doesn't. Uh, call the qualified, he qualifies the call or something. But it was like highlighting all their sins. Like, yeah. I was like, and that's how the devil is, right? Yeah. He uses some truth, yeah, to uh, to lie, right? Like he uses truth and lies, right? If you have some lies in your truth, then what? It becomes all lie, right? I mean, th think yeah. about what the devil said in the in the garden. He said, "You will uh, be like God." and know between good and evil. Mm -hmm. Well, that was true. The Bible says that. Right. You, would, you would be like God and, and know between good and evil. Right. That happened when they sinned. Right. But he didn't tell them the full truth. Right. Mm -hmm. That now, right. now you're going to be right. uh, kicked out. Right. right. And it's the same thing he's saying today, like what you were saying. Right. You know, he'll, he'll tell you, well, yeah, because that's not the definition of perfect. Right. Of, of what they were saying the right. definition of perfect is not the biblical definition. Right. Is not that we have never sinned. Right. It's that we got saved and sanctified and Amen. filled with the Holy right. Ghost. Amen. And now we walk with the Lord. Amen. Right. So you ain't walking with the Lord. You don't know the Lord if you're right. living in sin, the Bible says. Right. right. By Amen. this we know that we know him. If we keep his commandments. He that says I know him and doesn't keep his commandments is a liar. Right. The truth isn't in him. You're in the flesh. And that's the... The thing, the, the reason why I'm so frustrated with these teachings is because the people that don't believe in perfection, mm -hmm. they'll never experience it unless they believe it. Right. But because they're going off their experience and not faith in this word, mm -hmm. they'll never get there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had to believe God before I experienced it. Mm -hmm. I had to believe in obedience before I experienced obedience to God. By his grace. Yeah. 
You see how this works? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We believe he gives the grace to do it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let it be done according to your faith. Mm -hmm. Thank you, God. So when you speak against the word like these people are doing, mm -hmm. they're just trying to feel good yeah. right. in their uh, disobedience. Right. They're just trying to justify themselves through a lie. Right. God said you trust in a lie. Right. Don't yeah. let that be you. False humility. Right. False, right. False, false humility. right. Like false he's that false humility. humility. Yeah. You know, like like I said, David sent him with Bathsheba. So then they're in fornication. They're like, well, you know, there's still grace for me. Or if they're still watching porn, it's like there's still grace for me. It's like, no, you gotta turn away from that. Right. You know, like if you die yeah. in your sin, you're going to hell. Like Amen. you know. Amen. And you see through all these things you're seeing online, yeah, why these foundational pillars are foundational. Right. Because they don't know what grace is. Right. Grace is the power of God to not sin. Mm -hmm. So if you don't, and, it, and it's unmerited, you can't earn it, it's a gift of God, mm -hmm. right? God has to give you this gift, and that is the power of God not to sin. Mm -hmm. To where now you're above sin. Mm -hmm. Now you're, you're on the uh, elevated highway of holiness. Mm -hmm. Through the blood of Jesus, through, by the grace of God. Mm -hmm. You see, you can never earn it. That's why it's always going to be my mercy. It's always going to be by grace. Mm -hmm. Even after we're saved, we're being kept by the power of God. That's mm -hmm. grace. Right. Through what? Through faith. Through faith in what? Through faith in His Word. Right. Amen. That's why we need these foundational pillars. Mm -hmm. And the people that deny them are always saying they're falling into sin. People that deny these foundational pillars, mm -hmm. which is just simply God's truth, mm -hmm. God's scriptures. Right. These foundational truths, if you deny them, these are the same guys that are saying, I fall down all the time. Mm -hmm. They're always yelling at their wives. They're always uh, mm -hmm. speeding. They're always just not in the spirit. Right. Why? Because you don't have the all the word. Right. Amen. 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 So we found the secret. Amen. Thank the secret Lord. is faith in his word. Amen. His word. Amen. Hallelujah. Romans 6, 18. Being then made free from sin... Ye became the servants of righteousness. Mm -hmm. Being then made free from sin, ye became the servants of righteousness. Mm -hmm. Free from sin. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. When you get set free from sin, you voluntarily and joyfully become a slave of righteousness. Mm -hmm. This is when you become a child of God. Mm -hmm. You become a child of God when you get set free from sin. That's why it says, he that committed sin is of the devil. Right. You're not a child of God if you're still committing sin. Right. You might still be being drawn by his grace, but you're not sanctified. Right. Mm -hmm. When you get saved, you get sanctified. Mm -hmm. That's why he says, uh, but some were, uh, but such were some of you. Right. But you were sanctified. You were justified. Washed, sanctified, justified. You were washed. You were sanctified. You were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus. That's that happens at salvation. Mm -hmm. Amen. The Bible never talks about a process of sanctification. Mm -hmm. Never one time. Right. It talks about growing in knowledge and in grace, mm -hmm. but that process of sanctification is not in there. No, you'll if you're sanctified. It's like since you've been saved, you've been free from sin. Mm -hmm. I've been free from sin. Not to say we've never made a mistake or, or possibly some of us might even sin. Mm -hmm. But what happened when you sinned? You were in trouble. Right. You, it wasn't like God was turning the other up, like right. saying it's okay. Right. No, you were on your face repenting. Right. Yeah. Amen. Right. And Amen. God gave you mercy. Amen. Amen. Thank you. That's it, if somebody sins, that's what it looks like. It's right. not like some little thing no your soul was on the line you were going to hell yeah because you chose to disobey god you right. were just like adam and eve you got kicked out of the garden yeah. god's saying am i going to extend mercy to this guy i mean mm -hmm. you come into judgment the bible says right you come into judgment when you sin against god yeah if you're a real saint mm -hmm. and god's like what are you doing right. that's like getting caught in bed with another woman right what are you doing right are we not married? Right. Do you not love me anymore? Right. Are you you're asking for a divorce? By you doing that, you're asking God for a divorce. Right. In his eyes. Right. And you're spitting in his face. That's yeah. right. The Bible says you're crucifying Jesus all over again. Yeah. So to know the gravity is important. Right. We know the gravity of one willful sin. Right. Oh yeah. 
And even things that aren't willful, when we come to a knowledge of it, we're, we're brokenhearted. We're crying. We're in the face of God saying, right. God, forgive me right. for my ignorance. Forgive me of this sin. We don't, uh, we don't minimize the sin. Right. We maximize it. Mm -hmm. Like David, he said, to you alone have I sinned. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. He wasn't minimizing the sin, Lord. It wasn't that bad. Right. Right. Amen. This is, man, the Lord's speaking. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. First Thessalonians 5, 23. In the very God of peace, sanctify you wholly. It means completely. Mm -hmm. W-H-O-L-L-Y. Holy. Mm -hmm. Thank you, God. In the very God of peace, sanctify you wholly. And I pray, God, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. That was Paul's prayer mm -hmm. for the Thessalonians. Mm -hmm. In probably all the churches, you know, if you could hear his prayer life. Oh, yeah. Yes. But what if the church didn't believe this? Mm -hmm. That's bad for them. Right. Because he's praying that they would... Be preserved blameless. Mm -hmm. What does a blame mean? It means there's nothing you can be condemned for. Right. There's nothing that's going to hold you back from getting through that kingdom. Mm -hmm. Right? Thank you, God. Right. Amen. So that's why we believe in, in complete, we believe in sanctification. We believe you're either sanctified or you're unsanctified. Right. Some people call it complete sanctification. Okay, we call it that. Right. We believe in that. Right. Because <laughs> he, he just said it. Right. That's why. Right. Amen. If you're sanctified, I believe you're completely sanctified. Right. What, what, what is it? Where does the Bible talk about a 95% sanctification? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> if so, give me the scriptures. Right. You know? So I'm going to contend for the faith. Amen. That's right. Amen. Proverbs 2, 21 says this, For the upright shall dwell in the land, and the perfect shall remain in it. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Better get another version. Right. Not. Right. Amen. But to the people whose hearts and lives aren't fully in it, that's mm -hmm. what they think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's not right. The King James ain't right. Mm -hmm. Why do you think why do you think they got away from the King James real quick? Mm -hmm. For one, for money. Yeah. They at first in order to get you to buy their translation, they had to chip away at your confidence in the King James. Because mm -hmm. when I was a kid, almost everybody would say that of course the King James is the perfect Bible. Mm -hmm. They would just say, We're we're moving to the this new King James because it's easier to read. Mm -hmm. But we know the King James is perfect. Mm -hmm. They should have just stayed with the King James. Right. Amen. My kids are learning the King James. Right. They have a new King James right. while they while they learn, mm -hmm. but believe me, we're pushing King James. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And mm -hmm. once they get old enough, they're they're moving to the King James. Yeah. And like like you're saying, brother, the King James is a sharper sword. Yes. You know, perfect is a sharper word than these other words like complete or mature. Mm -hmm. That's why a lot of times, you know, you see like when you hear about the revivals that happened in America, what version were they using? The King James. Amen. So there's no coincidence that they were living holy and living the lives they were living because they all were believing and obeying the Bible. Thank yes. You, uh, the King James. The King James. You know what? That reminds me of... A brother that lives down in Florida, I don't want to say his name, but he said, he testified that he was reading an NLT mm -hmm. and that God gave him a dream and it was him opening up, like unpackaging a Bible and inside was a King James Bible. Wow. And ever since, he's been reading the King James. Praise God. Praise God. So, God confirms if you really want to know. Oh, yeah. You know, if, if and once you get into it, like, you see all the differences. Mm -hmm. Once you get into these um, foundational pillars, mm -hmm. you can see that the devil's been chipping away at these foundational oh, pillars. Yeah. And that's why he changes the words in all this, these yeah. other versions. Amen. Right? Amen. Yeah. He's going for the doctrine. Right. Mm -hmm. Psalms 37, 37 through 38. It says, Mark the perfect man. Mm -hmm. Behold the upright. For the end of that man is peace, but the transgressors shall be destroyed together. The end of the wicked shall be cut off. Mm -hmm. See, he, he, he um, what do they call that? When they 
compare things together? Uh, 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 I don't know. Similar. He Sim associates. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, so it's it's compared, right? Yeah. They, he compares uh, contrast. contrast. I was looking for contrast. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Contrast. He yeah. contrasts a perfect man with a transgressor. Because mm. you're either one or the other. Right. Do you know what Apostle James said? He said, if you transgress in one law, you transgress the whole law. Right. So if I go out and smoke a cigarette outside, I'm a I'm a transgressor of the whole law. Why? Because right. that's sin. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's why it says cleanse yourself from all filthiness of the flesh. Yes. You gotta you gotta choose to live this life. Right. Huh. Holiness is high class living. Amen. Right. But you have to choose that I'm gonna live like God. Right. Amen. By his grace, by right. a dependent relationship on him, yes. right. through his covenant. Right. This is why, why the blood of Jesus is so important mm -hmm. to believe in it. Right. Because this is what the blood of Jesus does. Remember, if we walk in the light as he is in the light, if it's contingent upon this, right. if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, mm -hmm. and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Amen. Amen. So the blood cleanses us from all sin as we walk with a perfect heart. Yes, God, I'm going to do whatever you say. Yes, God, I'm yielding to you. I'm led by the Spirit. Right. I obey His Word. Right. I'm passionate about it. Right. Thank you, God. This is the victory. Amen. This Amen. is the mind of Christ. Amen. We are called to live and think just like Jesus. Amen. And this is how you do it, by taking in these truths. Mm -hmm. These are jewels that God has given me. Amen. He has built me along the way so that I can build into others. Amen. And pound the devil's head in. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And this will found you on it. This will oh, found you oh, yeah. on a sure foundation. That's right. This will build you so that you are unshakable Amen. in your faith. Amen. Yes. Your mind like... Uh, concrete mm -hmm. around these truths. So if anything tries to come in, it hits the shield of faith. Because mm -hmm. your mind has become like concrete yeah, to yeah. where it doesn't accept anything that's not according to God's word. Amen. It hits it. Ding! Falls down. Amen. Uh -huh. Ain't that cool? Oh, yeah. Hey, Amen, brother. That's so true because a lot of people say, you know, keep an open mind, which I understand what they mean, but once you got the truth, you got to close your mind off to all these other things. That's so, right. Amen. Yeah, once you got the truth, you know. Yeah. You know. You ain't gonna you ain't gonna play footsies with the devil right. once you already got the truth. Right. <laughs> that's right, that's true. Yeah, that'd be an insult to God, wouldn't it? That's right. It's like this. We know, we see what pe other people can't see. Mm. That's why Jesus said, and this is a I actually put that in the sermon yesterday. He said, um, Unless you're born again, you can't see the kingdom of God. That's right. See, I can see the kingdom of God. How? Mm -hmm. Through eyes of faith. Right. And I can feel it. Mm -hmm. Well, you can't see God. Well, I can feel the wind. Right. I can feel the spirit. Right. Yeah. So with my spiritual eyes, I can see God. Mm -hmm. With my spiritual ears, I can hear God. Right. And his spirit is confirming right. that it's God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Second, uh, this is 1 Corinthians 2, 6. It says, How be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect. Yes. That's what we're doing right now. Mm -hmm. How be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world that come to naught. I could go, uh, this, I, this is what I said, I could go on and on with scriptures that show the call to perfection, I think we can agree it is a reality we have to define and discuss and live by as Christians. Amen. Listen, if you don't believe one of the scriptures, you ain't going to believe a hundred of them. Right. right. Yeah. I always say, you know, God is not like holding up a stake and having us be like little puppies jumping up at it, but we'll never get it. No. He commands all men everywhere to repent of all their sins yeah. right, and live a perfect life. Yeah. Uh -huh. Don't listen to the religious people. Don't listen to your denomination. Right. Listen to the word of God. Amen. Because that's what you'll be judged by. Right. This yeah. is a safe place. 
You think you're going to get to heaven and God's going to say, man, you took this perfection thing a little too serious. No. You, you loved me a little bit too intensely. No. No. He's going to say, oh, he's going to say to us, well done, good and faithful servants. Right. No. Enter into the joy of your salvation. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. Why? Because we ain't going to let go. Right. We ain't going to let go of God's hand. Right. Amen. We're going to let go of his word. Right. right. We're going to contend for these truths Amen. until the end. Whether I don't care if you reject it. I ain't rejected it. I mean, right. I do care because I love you. Right. But, you know, I, I don't care enough to lose my soul with you right. for rejecting God's word. The Bible says, he that despises the word shall be destroyed. Right. right. If you don't agree with it, you despise it. Right. Amen. You despise what God says. You had a bad understanding. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says... The principal thing is wisdom. This is what it says in Proverbs. It says, the principal thing is wisdom. And it says, and with all your getting, get an understanding. Mm -hmm. So with all your getting, what does that mean? With every, the whole purpose of your life, mm -hmm. with all your getting, with all your effort, with all your strivings, mm -hmm. let it be for one thing that you get a good understanding of what we're talking about today. Because right. yeah. that's what I have done. Yeah. Believe me, I, I ain't going to accept nothing that is going to lead me away from God. Right. And God is perfect. Yeah. God is holy. Yeah. And God said, you got to be holy. Thank you, God. And he said, you got to be perfect. Mm -hmm. And you can try to say, well, we're, we're teaching sinless perfectionism. Well, you don't know what you're talking about. Right. You do got to be sinless and you do got to be perfect. But the doctrine of sinless perfection, we are not teaching. Right. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love Jesus. Amen. Proverbs 11, 5. The righteousness of the perfect shall direct his way. Amen? Amen. Amen. The righteousness of the perfect shall direct his way. But the wicked shall fall by his own wickedness. Amen. Listen to this. You know, they don't even like to call saints righteous anymore. Amen. But David said, judge me according to my righteousness. Amen. No. So do we have a righteousness apart from Jesus? No, it's his righteousness. Mm -hmm. right. The Bible says, No weapon formed against you shall prosper, yes. but every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn, for this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, right. saith the Lord. Yeah. So our righteousness is of God's. We have God's righteousness. It was imputed to us, mm -hmm. and now it's ours. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. In Christ. We're in Christ. It's right. his. Right. It's his. He's given to us, mm -hmm. and now we are righteous through faith. Amen. 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 Apart from Christ? No, in Christ. Mm -hmm. That's right. Not apart from Christ. Right. But it's ours. Mm -hmm. It's really ours. Yeah. You've got to be perfect to have it imputed. Right. Yeah. you got to <laughs> repent yeah. of all sin. Right. And then if, if something ain't perfect in your life, the Holy Ghost will yeah. shine His light on it mm -hmm. and perfect you. It doesn't take long to be perfected. Right. I was thinking the other day, uh, how right when I got born again, I was I was a stupid born again baby Christian, mm -hmm. and I was watching something that had cussing in it, blaspheme God's name. And the next morning, right when I woke up, I heard God's audible voice, mm -hmm. and it and it and it said the the word that blasphemed His name. Mm -hmm. That's how I know God's not okay with with. Uh, Secular entertainment and things that blaspheme his name. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he corrected me as a brand new baby. I didn't have a pastor. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a man of God in my life. Mm -hmm. But the man of God, I did have a, or what I thought was a man of God, mm -hmm. but he was telling me against this teaching. Mm -hmm. I got saved when I believed this teaching mm -hmm. and the teachings that accord with godliness. Mm -hmm. That's when I got saved. Mm -hmm. Right. And then I became his, my, the guy that discipled me for three years. I became his biggest enemy. Because mm -hmm. now I'm telling his church to stop watching filth. Right. Right. Because God corrected me. I knew that it was the truth. Right. Amen. 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 Isn't God good? Oh, yeah. Yes. Thank you, Lord. But I had a prayer life. That's why. Because I was saying, God, mm -hmm. don't let me be not like you. Mm -hmm. uh, let me not... 
Don't let me fail. Don't let me do this wrong. Don't let me be a false teacher. Don't let... Do you know how many prayers I've prayed that God wouldn't let me be fake and false and phony and, 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 and think that I'm right when I'm wrong? So I, I, did, I got it straight from the Lord because I was, that's what God wanted. He wants us all to seek his face on the truth Amen. about his word. Yes, That's, that's right. how we know, we know, we know. That's why his Holy Spirit is here to confirm. How do you know it's his spirit? Because the word confirms the truth. That's right. Not, I'm not telling you my doctrine. I'm telling you what this book said. Amen. That's right. Amen. Yeah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Perfection for the mature believer. So we got perfection for the for the new believer. We got perfection for the mature believer. Amen. We just talked about the perfection of the of a new believer. Now we'll look at perfection for the mature believer. Mm -hmm. Example, the apple. As an apple develops, it is perfect through every straight st stage of its development. Mm -hmm. Even so, it comes to maturity over time. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So, another example of maturity for a new believer. Remember when I said, I just said, when you come into Christ, you might, like, I, I got bored again, but I was still doing stupid stuff because I didn't have any shepherd in my life, and I was a brand new Christian, and I just came out of the world. I just come out of such a wicked environment mm -hmm. to where I didn't, I still didn't have, um, I was brand new, mm -hmm. okay? I was brand new to the Christian right. faith, so I didn't know that watching secular stuff was, was going to make God very mad, mm -hmm. you know? It was going to cut me out if I didn't stop it. Mm -hmm. So God had to, so I wasn't, I wasn't mature. Mm -hmm. Okay. I wasn't perfect mm -hmm. as a mature believer. Mm -hmm. I, I had repented of all known sin. That's why I got born again. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. But God had to perfect me. That's the, the ministry of the spirit mm -hmm. for all those who are seeking them with all their heart. Mm -hmm. That the Holy Ghost will perfect you. And it doesn't take long, especially right. if you've got a good shepherd. Right. He's going to make sure you're perfect right away, right. real quick. Right. Because, you know, he's preaching about everything. Right. He's trying to line on everything. Right. We, we have a bright light in here. Right. And we're constantly making sure that anything that could make you fall, we're exposing it. Mm -hmm. Isn't that good? Oh, yeah. That's what a good shepherd's supposed to do right. is lead you by the righteous, lead you in the righteous path. Right. That's the job of a shepherd. If you think of a shepherd with sheep mm -hmm. out in the field, their job, they have two rods, right? Mm -hmm. Their job is, to, is to, to make sure you don't go off the path and you go off in an area where there's wolves where you're going to get eaten, mm -hmm. you know, or, or fall off a cliff. Right. You know, he's going to keep you in pastures, green pastures, mm -hmm. by still waters, mm -hmm. right, where you can feed and drink and be safe and if a wolf comes around, he's got to come over there and beat him. Right. Get him away. Right. But you can't you can't shepherd people that aren't in your flock. Right. You can't po properly shepherd them. Right. You can kind of you can do what we do, which is uh, share what we give in here, share it online, mm -hmm. and that can bless and help people, and that's super important. That's the word of God. Yeah. But as far as personally shepherding somebody. You can't personally shepherd somebody if they're not submitted in your flock. Mm -hmm. Amen? Right. Because they're not submitted to, to, your, uh, to your church. They're right. not submitted to the local mission there. Right. And, and <clears throat> So does that make sense? Amen. Hallelujah. So that's why we see a lot of people, even people that we know, going astray. Well, we don't really know what they're doing right. in their personal lives. Yeah. 1 Peter 5, 10 through 11 says this, But the grace of God, which hath called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. Did you catch that? After you've suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. Mm -hmm. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. So we see through suffering, God perfects us. Even so, on our way to perfection, we should still be obeying everything we know to obey. Mm -hmm. 
all things are working together for your good. Amen. So, so God is bringing you through an obstacle course to mess with you. No, not to mess with you. <laughs> to perfect you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. So he's got you on a, think of a trainer. Mm -hmm. God is your trainer. Mm -hmm. God is your spiritual trainer, just like you have a trainer at the gym. Mm -hmm. God's job is to get you in shape so Amen. you can endure the war. Right. Jesus Christ is the commander of the Lord's army. You're a soldier. Mm -hmm. His job is to get you in shape, get you whipped up, get you disciplined, mm -hmm. so that you are a faithful soldier right. of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Discipline, prepared unto every good work. Amen. Sanctified, meet for the master's use. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. So that's what's going on here. But if we're fighting against him, he's got to bring us through the wilderness. He's got to bring us through all these hard situations to, to form the character of Christ in us. Mm -hmm. Listen, you're going to make it harder on yourself if you don't go yielding mm -hmm. and asking for God to, to bring you through something. that It's not going to hurt as bad right. if you're yielding. Right. That's what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. If you are resisting God and not looking for everything he's telling you, Man, he's got to teach you the hard way. You got to go the hard way. No, don't do that. Right. Go the easy way. Amen. Believe me, I went the hard way for years. Mm -hmm. About killed me. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. You want to go the easy way. Amen. James one four. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Mm -hmm. This is talking about the perfection according to a mature believer. Mm -hmm. He's saying. Listen, keep growing, keep reading, keep keep fasting, keep uh, praying, you know, keep doing everything God's called you to do and be patient. Mm -hmm. And then you'll get to a place to where you're perfect and entire, lacking nothing. Mm -hmm. Did I write that? That's what it says, right? Am I taking it out of context? Mm -hmm. No, that's what it says. Mm -hmm. Just trust the Lord. Right. Amen. He won't let you go as long as you don't let go of him. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Second Chronicles 16, 9. For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong on the behalf of them whose hearts are perfect toward him. Amen. Amen. Herein thou hast done foolishly, therefore from henceforth thou shalt have wars. Thank you, God. I said, uh, God is looking for someone who commits everything to him. Amen. We have offered our bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. Now we continue to daily lay down our lives as we nurture our relationship with our Heavenly Father. Remember, all of our, all of our being has to be offered to God. Attitudes, conduct, speech and thoughts mm -hmm. Amen. always staying thankful for all things is key yes. thankful and worship thankful mm -hmm. and worshiping mm -hmm. thank I, I believe being thankful to god is is uh, a form of worship mm -hmm. but you have to be thankful and worship him mm -hmm. yeah. all the time be in a spirit of worship yes. mm -hmm. uh, a spirit of what's that verse there's a verse about like uh, he gives you the spirit of something for the spirit of mourning. Oh, oh. Right. The oil of joy for the spirit of mourning. Yeah. Yeah, the that's it. The garment of praise for the spirit of happiness. The garment of praise. Of gives you the garment of praise for the, for the what? Uh, for the um, garment of heaviness. For something the like spirit that. of heaviness. For the spirit the of heaviness. The oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Yes. yes. Yeah. So it gives you a spirit of praise. Yeah. You need a spirit of praise. Amen. Yeah. For what? The for the what of of uh, heaviness? Spirit of heaviness. For, for the spirit of heaviness. Yeah. The so, oil is only for mourning. So, yeah. So yeah. like you know the suffering and the spirit of heaviness mm -hmm. that we have, mm -hmm. that isn't in vain. Mm -hmm. yeah. That will cause us to have a spirit of praise. That yeah. it's like oh, yeah. uh, it's like the olive oil. Mm -hmm. The olive has to be crushed mm -hmm. in order for the oil to come out. Mm -hmm. Amen. So God, through this process, mm -hmm. it's not, a, not the sanctification process, mm -hmm. it's just through this process, mm -hmm. 
God is doing something to get certain things out of you. Mm -hmm. So you'll produce fruit so that you're full of praise, mm -hmm. full of thanksgiving, that you, there's a certain character, which is the character of Christ, mm -hmm. that God's trying to form out of you, and it's going to happen through suffering. Mm -hmm. Perfection happens through suffering. Yeah. Yeah. Maturity, uh, teaching you to love yeah. like Jesus, to be a servant, right. to sacrifice yourself Thank you, God. for others. Right. Amen. Next verse, 2 Corinthians 6, 17 through 18. That's a misspell there. I need to fix that. I'm going to mark that so I can fix that on my computer. It says, Wherefore, come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. And I will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. Having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness and fear of God. I said, I do not think of perfection as a place that we attain to, but instead a place that we choose to abide in mm -hmm. or continue in. in other That's right. Amen. Mm -hmm. So Jesus is perfect. We're abiding in him. Mm -hmm. So we continue in him. We continue in perfection. He's perfection. Mm -hmm. if, if So if there's a difference between him, in him and us, as we continue with him, he shows us the differences and we adjust to him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And that's why we got to be close to God. Mm -hmm. Thank you, God. Because this is what God's doing perfecting Amen. holiness in the fear of God. Amen. Amen. This is how he does it. Mm -hmm. I said, It is a continuing of your faith in all submission to God, learning to be fully dependent on him. As we abide in Jesus, we are continuing in perfection and finding victory through every trial. Amen. We're more than conquerors mm -hmm. through him that loved us. Amen. Hallelujah. You mentioned that. Amen. In 1 John 4, 17, herein is our love made perfect. You want to know what love is? Mm -hmm. and herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Because as he is, so are we in this world. Yes. Our love's made perfect when, when we're like God. Amen. And it, and it happens in this world, in this life. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. God is teaching us, this is me now, God is teaching us to love with a perfect love. Love is true perfection. Mm -hmm. That's what perfection is, yeah. is love. love. That's why it says fulfillment of the law yeah. is love. Yeah. Love is the fulfillment of the law. Mm -hmm. Because why? Because it... It's not selfish. It doesn't right. do any harm towards its neighbor. Right. Amen. Amen. Love is pure, holy, selfless, always treating others as we want to be treated. We are being perfected in love as we lay down our life each day. Thank you, God. So listen, as you continue down this path, you've learned how to love more and more. Mm -hmm. Amen. You've learned how to serve more and more. Mm -hmm. You've learned how to sacrifice more and more. Now you can't, now that you are going down this path, just like anything, you can't change back to your old selfish ways. Mm -hmm. You have to continue on the path because he's, he's producing something in you. He's right. bringing you somewhere down this path. Right. So you're not going to disobey and go back to being unloving and being selfish or being disobedient, mm -hmm. right? right? You have to stay on that path. And we get better and better as we go. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. As far as like we get we get uh, more like Jesus, you could say, Amen. as you go. Because you learn to love mm -hmm. in better ways. Just You just didn't know before, right? right. I didn't know how to love until I, I got the opportunity to love. Right. And then I had to figure out, okay, how do I love this person in this situation? Mm -hmm. Right? It, and that's why relationships are so important. Mm -hmm. God matures us through relationships. Oh, yeah. If you don't have a local church, how are you going to practice the love? Mm -hmm. How are you going to practice on how to love people, which right. is which is the fulfillment of the law? Right. Yeah. You'll stay immature. Right. You'll think that you are the greatest prophet and the greatest gift to all humanity and the greatest gift to the church because of all your great gifts. But Paul said, if you don't have love, it's all for nothing. Yeah. How do you learn to love? You're in with other brothers. Right. 
You're in a church. You're in a local church. You have to move if you got to move. Right. Right. Whatever you got to do to be with these brothers to to form and bond together. We've right. knitted our hearts together in love. How that how does that happen? Well, through living together, right. through discipleship, right. through uh, spending time together. We actually got to like each other. Right. We have to like. <laughs> right. You know, and we are very likable people. We're easy to love. You're easy to love, Corey. Amen. I thank God for you. Amen. Brother John, you're easy to love. God. I want to love you like Jesus. I want Amen. to love you like Jesus. Amen. Brother Louise, I want to love you like Jesus. Amen. Saints online, my goal is to love you like Jesus. Yes. Yeah. And I want you to be a safe person to love. Right. And I want to be a safe person to love. Right. And if we're all submitted to God and we're all doing our best yes. in God's eyes, mm -hmm. then we're going to see a miracle happen. Amen. We're going to see us form into a body. Yeah. We're not a body if we're never together. We're not right. a body if we don't love each other, if we're right. not joined together and yeah. everybody doing its part. Amen. Now we're getting excited. <laughs> Amen. 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 Ain't that exciting? Yeah. That's what the Holy Ghost is doing. Amen. That's the whole purpose of this. Amen. Amen. So that we would be that people that Amen. can do what nobody else could do. Yes. Love each other. Amen. Work together. Amen. Submit to one another. Put our egos aside. Amen. Stay dead. Yeah. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. Man. Amen. Pour's pouring out. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Colossians 3.14. There it is. Amen. And above all these things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. Amen. Amen. Charity. That's sacrificial love. Amen. Thank you, Lord. That's what it takes in all your relationships. Whether it be a friend, a brother, a family member, mm -hmm. charity is you doing what's best for them. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I got to be the best pastor I can be because I love you. Amen. I got to be the best brother in the Lord mm -hmm. because I love you. I got to be the best father in the world because I love my kids. Yeah. I got to be the best husband in the world because I love my wife. Right. This is the law of this is the law fulfilled. Right. Because I'm doing it with all my heart. Right. Yes. And of course, in order to do this correctly, God has to be in his place mm -hmm. on the throne of your life. Mm -hmm. In order for this to work right because you can't do this in your own strength right you need to be connected to god mm -hmm. you need a prayer life you need to be filled up with his word you need mm -hmm. your life and your relationships to be grounded and nourished and continuing in god mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. you can't do this with sinners right there's no fellowship no. between those who are in darkness and light no. so don't be stupid with who you you know, don't give what is holy to the dogs. Mm -hmm. Amen. Don't give your heart away. The Bible says keep your heart with all diligence. Right. Don't. See, there's a love that we can love sinners with. Mm -hmm. And there's a love that we love our close people, our saints with. Mm -hmm. It's different loves. Right. Same way with God, right? Right. God loves the sinner, but he don't love the sinner like he loves the saints. Right. We see that in scripture. Right. right? So... That's what he mean what he meant by don't give what is holy to the dogs mm -hmm. lest they turn and rend you. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. Amen. Love safe people. Mm -hmm. Don't be an idiot with your heart. Mm -hmm. right. That's the most precious thing with you. That, right. That's holy. Your right. heart is holy now. Right. Why? Because you never trust in your heart, you trust in Jesus' heart. Mm -hmm. You're always looking to Jesus. Mm -hmm. He gave you that heart. Thank you, God. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Charity is sacrificial love, laying down your life each day to serve God and others. If we love God, we will sincerely put others first. Mm -hmm. This is the evidence of the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. John 13, 35. Mm -hmm. Romans 13, 8 through 10. Owe no man anything but to love one another. For he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. Mm -hmm. For this, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness. Thou shalt not covet, and if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Thank you, Lord. Love worketh no ill towards its neighbor, therefore love is a fulfilling of the law. 
Hey, John, there's a cord back there. I didn't plug my phone into the battery. I got you, Connor. Um, can you do that? Yep. Thanks, brother. Mm -hmm. Isn't it awesome how I, I can just ask brothers to do stuff? Uh -huh. and, I mean, we just know each other so well. Uh -huh. I just love these. We live these out. Amen. And it's beautiful. Amen. Isn't it? Thank We're you. a team. Amen. First Corinthians 13, 13. If you truly love someone, you will never sin against them. Mm. That's why love is a, a fulfillment of the law. Yeah. 2 Timothy 3, 16 through 17. All scripture is given by inspiration to God, it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all his works. Mm. Amen. God meant it when he said it. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thanks, brother. Oh. I'm still, I'm, uh, the screen was still on? Oh, yeah. It said it was at 39% that started charging, 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 charging at 39. Thank you. Yep. And Galatians 3.3 3 says, Why, Are ye so foolish, having begun the Spirit, are we now made perfect by the flesh? On your packet there? Mm -hmm. Think about that. Are you so foolish, having begun the Spirit, are you now made perfect by the flesh? Mm. So, in other words, how are we being made perfect? Through the Spirit. Right. right. We cannot be perfected through the works of the law, which are of the flesh. We are perfected by the Spirit of God. Mm -hmm. It is a work of God. It is a gift, and it is a miracle. You know what I, I think of when I think of Christian perfection? Uh, well, obviously, I think of a lot because mm -hmm. of this whole teaching. But I think of people not reacting mm -hmm. in the flesh. Mm -hmm. That's how you know somebody's really mature mm -hmm. or really uh, coming either perfect or coming into perfection. Mm -hmm. Is something can happen and they don't lose their heads. Mm -hmm. They don't react in the flesh. Mm -hmm. is, is how we explain it. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's so important because. When you feel the adrenaline and you feel, and somebody like <laughs> Christine and I explain it like burning each other with fire. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, you catch your partner off guard and you're like, why did you do this? Or, or the kid gets hurt. This is a perfect example. We've had this happen. Mm -hmm. The kid gets hurt and it's like, why did you do that? Da, 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 da. You start yelling at the other person. It's like throwing fire on them. Mm -hmm. All right? That feels like it because their adrenaline goes through the roof. Right. right. The, the, uh, the test mm -hmm. of maturity is if you can take that mm -hmm. and not react. Mm -hmm. That's how you know you are somewhere in Jesus. Mm -hmm. Because it is so hard mm -hmm. not to say, mm -hmm. shut up! <laughs> right. Right. Leave me alone, it was an accident. Right. You know, and you go right up there with them mm -hmm. to try to get them to shut up and, and get off of you. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, so I've learned that maturity or perfection mm -hmm. is you saying, not listening to all of your fleshly, uh, what's the word? instincts mm -hmm. all your fleshly instincts and all your adrenaline that's saying you got to do something about this mm -hmm. and you just say you just you just don't react you just say hey i'm sorry um i'm gonna take a quick break mm -hmm. are you okay mm -hmm. and you just say right you just stay down here right you don't go up to their level right, right. or you in other words you don't come down to their level right right and as men, we have to be the leaders, mm -hmm. which means we have to be the example. Yeah. So the Bible said, and this is not giving women any pass, but the Bible says that women are the weaker vessel. Mm -hmm. And we have to be the stronger person, mm -hmm. more mature person, because if we go off, when they go off, who's going to man the ship? Right. Who's going to steer this? Where's this thing going? Right. What are you going to do? I mean. Right. We can do this could turn violent mm -hmm. if you're not careful mm -hmm. and that's why it's so important that women and especially men but it's 
women got to get it together too. Right. Because you don't get a pass as long as you're the weaker vessel. Right. You have to know how to control yourself. Mm -hmm. You have to. The Bible says, "He that doesn't have control over a spirit is like what? City a city broken, broken down, down without walls. A city broken down without walls. Yeah. So anything can just come in and wreck your day. Mm -hmm. Anything can just come in and, and wreck your life, mm -hmm. wreck your marriage, wreck your relationship. No, you've got to have control over your spirit. The Bible says, mm -hmm. self control. Mm -hmm. Amen. Holy Spirit." Amen. The Holy Spirit, yes. Through the Spirit, huh? Mm -hmm. you, but you got to yield to Him in order to see that fruit. Right. Amen. John 17, 17. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Mm -hmm. So in other words, perfect them. Mm -hmm. uh, sanctify means to cleanse and set apart. Mm -hmm. Right? Amen. Cleanse, make you completely clean. Mm -hmm. You're sanctified, you're completely clean. Amen. That's Amen. the only way we're able to Commune with God is through the shed blood of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Sanctify them by thy truth. Thy word is truth. Amen. So we believe in his truth. Mm -hmm. And the blood cleanses us because mm -hmm. we're walking in that truth. If you believe, you're you're living it. Amen. Be live. Think yeah. about that. Yeah. When when you heard the word believe, think be live. Yeah. Because if you believe it, you'll do whatever needs to be done. Right. You'll, you'll walk in it. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hebrews 6, 1 through 4. Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on unto perfection. Mm -hmm. Paul believed in it, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Let us go on unto perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward God, of the doctrine of baptisms and of laying on of hands and of the resurrection of the dead and of eternal mm -hmm. judgment. And this will we do if God permit. Mm -hmm. So we're saying if God gives us the grace, mm -hmm. we'll do this. Now, why would he not give the grace to go on to perfection? Mm -hmm. Because you haven't taken care of these first things. You're not doing what you're supposed to do on these elementary levels. Right. Like, like what we're saying, like repentance from, from dead works. Mm -hmm. You know, you still think that these religious works are like saving you. You got to repent of dead works, mm -hmm. of like uh, trusting in your good works right. for your salvation, mm -hmm. and all these things. So, so you can't go back to the principles. We're saying we're leaving these principle things. Look, they're already a part of us. These things are already like holiness. Not watching worldly movies and stuff. Listen, this is a part of me. I'm ready to go on to perfection. Now, now God, God will permit it because that's his will. Right. But if I can't live holy, if I can't do what I'm supposed to do, because this is, remember he said, this is your acceptable, this is just your reasonable service mm -hmm. to be holy and acceptable mm -hmm. unto God. So if we can't get these basic things right about being free from sin mm -hmm. and walking, uh, walking in obedience, mm -hmm. these are all just elementary stuff. Mm -hmm. Bible says we're going on to perf he wants to bring us to new levels right deep things in the spirit right. not just what the what the babies need to hear right. praise God I love the baby knowledge mm -hmm. the the little knowledge I shouldn't I'm not I'm not uh belittling right these are important truths I love these truths right but I'm saying there's deeper things God wants to show us mm -hmm. these are pretty deep compared to nowadays but mm -hmm. in the in the reality of things, these are just the foundational pillars. Right. And I'm not, I love the foundational pillars. Right. I'm not taking away from that. Right. But Paul's saying, not going back to these things. Right. We got to go forward. Right. Right? Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah. So you need to embrace these foundational pillars, teach it to everybody, hand out the packets, make copies, you know, use these tools to bear fruit. Mm -hmm. But you yourself, you shouldn't just stay on the foundational pillars your whole existence. You should, God will be bringing you into deeper things if you can get a hold of these principles, mm -hmm. of these basic things. Right. That's what he's saying. Amen. Praise the Lord. Colossians 1, 27 through 29 says, To whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Mm -hmm. 
whom we preach, warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom, that we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus. Whereunto I also labor, striving according to his working, which worketh in me mightily. Mm -hmm. So Paul's saying, listen, I'm laboring so that I can present every man perfect in Christ. Mm -hmm. So I can present you as a chaste virgin. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. <clears throat> whereunto, I, excuse me, whereunto I also labor, striving according to his working. Mm -hmm. So I'm striving according to the power of God. Right. So I, I'm going with the Spirit mm -hmm. because this is the will of God that we would build the house mm -hmm. and the foundation would be Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You know what the Lord was speaking to me? Mm -hmm. He was saying, listen, if you want to build the house, this goes for anybody, not just us, but we, we know this. If you want to build the house, you have to tear down the previous house and build on the right foundation. Amen. See, a lot of people they they start trying to build, but they haven't built down their, they haven't tore down their old house. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Right. Their old life, mm -hmm. their old life of sin, they haven't tore it down. Yeah. You got to tear it down and then build on Jesus and start again. Right. Yes. Thank you, God. That's why I said if you try to put wine in the old wine skin. It was. It'll burst. It'll burst. You can't put old wine. You got to put new wine in a new wine skin. You can't put new wine in an old wine skin. Why? Because it don't have any room to uh, to ferment. It don't have any room to to expand. And that's what he's saying. If you try to put your old life in this new life, which is in Christ, it's going to burst. Right. Right. So you can't do it. It's impossible. Mm -hmm. You have to be holy and put the whole your holy life in Jesus, right. which is the wineskin. Amen. Right? And then both will expand together. Amen. The kingdom of God is like leaven, not like the wicked leaven. Right. It's like it's like a good leaven. That it grows and grows and grows. That's, that's the kingdom of God. It's inside of you. Amen. It's growing and you are changing. Mm -hmm. You can't see it day by day when you look in the mirror. Mm -hmm. You can't see you're changing. Right. But you're changing. Right. We're, we're changing. Yeah. All of us. Yeah. Because that leaven, that good leaven of the kingdom of God is is expanding yeah. in three in three measures. Yeah. Jesus said. Thank so, you, praise Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So here at the uh, bottom of Colossians 1, it says, Paul was striving according to the power of the Spirit to make everyone perfect in Christ Jesus. Luke 13, 24 says, Strive to enter in at the straight gate, for many, I say unto you, will seek to enter and will not be able. Man, don't let people explain that verse away. Amen. You better fear God. Amen. Make sure you enter in at the straight gate. Mm -hmm. Make sure you tore down that whole <clears throat> old house. Mm -hmm. That you got new wine skins, right. mm -hmm. which is a sanctified life. Mm -hmm. yes. New wine in the new wine skins. Mm -hmm. Thank you, God. Which is a sanctified life right. in Christ Jesus. Right. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. All right, most commonly verses, people misunderstand on perfection. Mm -hmm. First John 1 John 1.8, the whole, the whole book is talking about perfection, First John. But mm -hmm. people try to isolate this verse mm -hmm. <coughs> to try to say that Christians all have sin. Mm -hmm. Bad understanding. Mm -hmm. First John 1 John 1.8, if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. This verse is not saying you will never stop sinning. All the surrounding verses say if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Mm -hmm. yes. This verse is talking about someone who comes to God and, and says, I have no sin to confess of. Amen. That's clear. Yeah. Because the Bible teaches that all have sinned past tense. Mm -hmm. So the Bible does not contradict itself, and Jesus commands us to go and sin no more. Mm -hmm. If that was impossible to do, Christ then 
to do in Christ, then the Bible contradicts itself and is not the perfect word of God. Right. If you abide in Christ, you will not sin. Yeah. Amen. First John 3, 6, mm -hmm. and 3, 9. Amen. Amen. That should be 3, 6. Mm. Philippians 3, 12. Not as though I had already... Okay, we, we already talked about that one, so I'm going to skip that one, okay? Um, Philippians 3.12, that, that was at the beginning of the teaching, uh, the very beginning of this session. If you want to go back and, and read that, we went through Philippians 3 and what that meant. That was talking about the perfect... Like Paul hadn't attained to the perfection that was according to the resurrection. Right. right. All right. Amen. Actually, that's the end of the teaching. Amen. Praise God. So, yes, and there's a lot of scriptures that the unbelievers use to try to uh, not believe in perfection, you know, biblical perfection. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, the enemy wants to change biblical perfection into something that's ridiculous mm -hmm. so that you don't believe in it. Mm -hmm. No, it's just simply you... Uh, Walking with God. Mm -hmm. Simply you obeying in everything that you know. That's simple. Right. We're doing it right now. We've been doing it, doing it since we sat here. Right. Amen. Why? Because we're in the grace of God. Right. Yes. Amen. So it's not hard. Don't let the devil That's right. tell you that it's hard. That's right. His Bible says, this is the love of God that we keep his commandments. Right. Yes. And his commandments are not grievous. Right. They're not difficult to keep. They're not mm -hmm. difficult grievous they don't grieve you to keep them oh this is so hard right. this is so difficult mm -hmm. no the commandments of god are very i'll say it becomes your nature mm -hmm. once you you're trained in righteousness mm -hmm. so that's what we're experiencing we have a momentum of righteousness because we've been living this for years mm -hmm. and we're used to just automatically changing our minds to conform to his word mm -hmm. We're automatic, like I'm good at it. Mm -hmm. I'm good at reading something and making sure that it's applied to my life. Right. Making sure I'm in the way. Mm -hmm. You know, making sure that I'm, I'm examining myself mm -hmm. to see if I'm in the faith. Amen. We got to do that all the way till we get to Jesus. Yeah. All the way till we get to the end. Yeah. If we are to see the kingdom of God. Right. God will make sure we make it in. Mm -hmm. If your heart is perfect towards him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you, Lord. He'll make sure. Amen. Because that's his, it's his good pleasure to give us the kingdom, mm -hmm. the Bible says. Yeah. So don't be discouraged in any way by biblical perfection. Be encouraged. That's mm -hmm. right. Amen. You should be excited mm -hmm. that this is possible yeah. and that this is the calling. Yeah. Yes. The Bible says he hasn't called us to uncleanness, that's yeah. right. but unto holiness. Mm -hmm. Amen. He called us to holiness. That means he commands it. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's not an option. No. Mm -hmm. Those who obey will embrace it. Mm -hmm. Those who believe and obey will embrace it. Those who disobey, they're proud in the flesh. Mm -hmm. They'll reject it, be wise in their own eyes, and eventually be cut off. Mm -hmm. So God forbid. Amen. God forbid. We have to let the body perfect itself through these teachings. Amen. It's yes. the Word of God. Remember, it's the all scriptures given by inspiration of God. That for what to perfect the man of God mm -hmm. to perfect you. Absolutely, Amen. So, Amen. Be encouraged. Has anybody got anything? I just, yeah, Amen. No, yeah, that was great. Um, mm -hmm. I think it's a big snare that a lot of people fall into with biblical perfection is they try to. A lot of a snare that people I see that try to teach, you know, what it means, and they try to dumb, they like dumb down, it's a snare because they dumb down the standard, you know? Yeah. It's a big snare because, you know, they're, uh, instead of just believing what the Word says and having faith in the Word, like you said, mm -hmm. as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Mm -hmm. So instead of saying, yes, I, I can be perfect in Christ, yes, we are perfect, you know, they try to explain it away and. And uh, I think that that's a snare, and uh, you know, and so, you know, the standard drives, like you were saying, the standard pushes out the word, the standard pushes mm -hmm. out the fakes, it exposes the, the places that need to be corrected or the people that are 
uh, not really part of the body. So, I mean, instead mm -hmm. of trying to, it's a snare to think that you're humble by, by, um, saying you're in sin. Sa saying, yeah, saying you're in sin. And I see that correlation with trying to dumb down the standard and say, well, you know, nobody's perfect or, you know, it's not really perfect. It just means that you're mature or complete or anything like that. So it's just like, no, just believe what God says and, and stand on the word. And, uh, and live holy. So, I mean, you know, you're not doing anybody a favor. You're actually stunning people's growth. Yes. You're actually stunting people's growth if you are actually coming against what the yeah. perfect word says. Yeah. It's hurting people. It's not helping people. Amen. So, you know. And it's saying, I know better than God. Mm -hmm. Right. Because I, when Jesus said, be ye perfect as your Father is in heaven, he didn't even get an explanation after that. Right. He just had to do it. Right. 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 So, yeah, you're stunning people's growth because they're not going to be diligent right. without perfection. And you're trying to be more loving than God. Right. Yeah. You're trying to be, you, you, you think that uh, perfection will be damaging. Mm. Right. Man. Yeah, they're actually in the flesh, even though, and that's what I'm saying. If you, if you fall into that snare, you become accuser of the brethren, too, because, because, um, you are saying that those that are in the spirit are in the flesh and you're doing what's more spiritual. Mm -hmm. So you're kind of actually end up being a hypocrite. You're just a hypocrite. It's, it's totally hypocrisy. Right? Oh, yeah. It's totally hypocrisy and it's just, it is immaturity. And, um, you know, that's why we need the grace of God. And we, we need to be, like you said, continually going to God and doing that maintenance of scripture and seeking the Lord and just asking him, Continually, God will put His finger on it. You know, yeah. if you're really sincere, uh -huh. I'm sure there, there are sincere people that you know that um, that maybe do that sometimes. Oh, absolutely. You know what I mean? So, yeah. so that, so the Lord puts His finger on it, but we just got to believe the word. Yeah, and we have to preach hard against it because it's taken such a big root mm -hmm. right. in the church mm -hmm. and even in our own circles. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So that's why we have to preach mm -hmm. because preaching uproots false doctrine. Mm -hmm. To stand on the word boldly mm -hmm. is what uproots. That's what delivered me mm -hmm. from all these doctrines mm -hmm. that are not biblical. Mm -hmm. Is the preaching of these things that we're preaching today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like John said, you're not doing anybody any favors mm -hmm. by dumbing down the standard. Or, you know, you're not being a friend of God. Mm -hmm. You're being an enemy of God mm -hmm. right. by saying... Well, nobody does that. Mm -hmm. Nobody lives perfect. Right. No, the saints live perfect, right? According to the Bible, like I said, um, and to not believe that is really to not believe God's word. Mm -hmm. And that's why it is serious. And God is bringing us. We're, we are the very last days. I believe with all my heart. I Absolutely. believe that we are the last days church. Yeah. And God really wants His church to believe the full truth. Mm -hmm. About his word. Mm -hmm. Because this is why the rest fell away. Mm -hmm. This is why the our parents' generation didn't make it. Mm -hmm. That church fell away. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying nobody made it. Mm -hmm. A very few, brother. Very yeah. few percentage made it. Why? Because they rejected the word. Mm -hmm. They went on their own understanding of what they've experienced. Or what they heard other pastors or preachers mm -hmm. teach. And that's what they've done. And now they've infiltrated the seminaries they've infiltrated the even the guys that used to teach perfection john what was his name uh john the guy that was in the 1800s oh wesley john wesley yeah yeah he was uh perfection i mean he that guy believed in perfection man through and through and i love it i love it it challenges you you know, it makes sure that you have all your T's mm -hmm. across everything, your I's dotted. Mm -hmm. And I love that about perfection because that's how we're supposed to be, mm -hmm. is we're supposed to be diligent. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're in a religious spirit, perfection will torment you. Mm -hmm. You know, you're worried about just everything. No, it's not supposed to bring worry. It's supposed to bring freedom. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not sitting around worried about stupid stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, the, no, you don't have to worry about. Oh, did I did I overeat a lot? That that's a real that can be a religious right. spirit. Right. 
you know, because mm -hmm. religious spirits always trying to get you to be so uh, overly worried about stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, that's not the spirit of God. Right. You know, um, what, what else? Yeah, so there's a, there's a religious spirit, mm -hmm. like the oneness people. Mm -hmm. They believe in holiness. They mm -hmm. believe in perfection. Mm -hmm. But they do not have the peace of God right. like we did. Right. The, the true Holy Spirit will have the fear of the Lord, which will keep you in line, like that mm -hmm. believes in perfection. But it will also have the comfort mm -hmm. of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. So if you're, if you're suffering, like the Holy Ghost has reminded me before, like, hey, if any man be in Christ, uh, or um, there's, no there's no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, mm -hmm. who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. But sometimes that word on perfection will be the Holy Spirit, dealing with you for not letting go of something you can't attribute that to a religious spirit mm -hmm. you got to attribute that to okay now am i walking in full obedience mm -hmm. otherwise i need to be tormented mm -hmm. god can torment somebody you know that mm -hmm. if they're in disobedience mm -hmm. that's his job is to convict mm -hmm. uh the rebels mm -hmm. you know to convict it. and maybe you're doing something you're just not aware of mm -hmm. god will bring it up and if you're a good son, like I said, you'll correct it right away. Hey, praise God. Forgive me, Lord. Thank you for your mercy and grace. Mm -hmm. Move on. Mm -hmm. You don't let the devil uh, torment you and condemn you. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's how you got to know your God. Right. You have to know that, of course, I'm in full obedience. Right. Of course, there ain't no uh, leaven. There ain't right. no, uh, you know. So, but yeah, I've trained myself to mm -hmm. to know the scriptures mm -hmm. train myself to believe them mm -hmm. i mean fully believe them yeah and uh have no room for unbelief mm -hmm. have no room for 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 doubt mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. because that's what's going to bring you all the way through mm -hmm. is the word yeah. faith faith is the vehicle yeah so faith is believing in god's word mm -hmm. Amen. Oh, faith is the vehicle that we're saved by. Amen. So if you have that faith, it'll it'll produce the fruit mm -hmm. that you need to make it all the way. Praise God. Yeah. Did you have anything? No, I just, I just loved it all. Oh, yes. you know. It's freedom, man. It, yeah. It's peace. Oh, yeah. The spirit of peace is here. Amen. Amen. So if you're being tormented, you need to repent Amen. and come into the true spirit of God. Amen. Like it. I believe when it talks about the fruits of the Spirit, it says uh, that against such there is no law. You remember that? Oh, yeah. So when you're walking in these things, there's nothing for you to be condemned by because you're not living in willful sin. You oh, know, yeah. you're walking in obedience. Yeah. yeah. You know, you're free. Yeah. You know, you're, it, it, you're, it's freedom. It's freedom. Yeah. And then you know that if God, if, if you've seen something, you would deal with it because you've got a perfect heart with God. Right. Because you're maintaining this relationship. Right. Yes. Amen. So there's, there's nothing that can stop us. There's nothing right. that can trip us up because God knows that we're going to obey everything because we've been obeying everything for years. Mm -hmm. There's no any disobedience that I'm, I'm uh, aware of. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's why God trusts us because mm -hmm. we have a record. We have a history mm -hmm. with God. Amen. But yeah, you're right. I mean, that's why we have that peace. Right. right? That's what Corey was saying. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because... And that's why I was saying, look, we have security. There's security. Like, because I've prayed, because I've I've chosen to stay close to God and chose to keep feeding myself this word, God has corrected me right. when I've been wrong. Even I witnessed, I testified to him audibly correcting me. Mm -hmm. You know? If you're his son, he's not going to let you fail. Right. If, if you're, but his son is like Jesus. Right. His son is, guess what? When God corrected me, guess what I did? I took all my wicked movies, which was uh, everything, pretty much everything I owned. I think I only had like a few movies after that. Mm -hmm. And I threw them in the garbage and I took them out of my house. I just like destroyed them. Yeah. This is what sons of God do. Right. Mm -hmm. They're radical. Right. And God knew I was radical. God seen that I lost everybody in my right. life. You know? Right. God seen what I was willing to give up. I was willing to give up my life. And right. he knew it. Right. So he gave me that word. Yeah. Exactly. And now I give that word. Right. Because he's in me. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Lord. So praise the Lord. That's his word.
and it's mm-hmm. peace to those who who make peace with it mm-hmm. to those who accept it mm-hmm. you know it might be a little scary but it'll do its work mm-hmm. if you let it in mm-hmm. it's the truth mm-hmm. it's clean mm-hmm. Thank you, Lord. there's no poison right it's all good medicine it'll yeah. flush out everything not like Jesus right let you live that blessed life Amen. full of Amen. peace full of prosperity Amen. Amen. true prosperity yeah. right. Amen. Let's stand. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord, for Hallelujah. the victory, Lord. You, Lord. You've made us more than conquerors, Lord. Thank we you. are finding where the, the secret is, Lord. It's in your word, Lord. It's in what you've given us, Lord. Thank you for your faithfulness, God. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your truth. Thank you for your steadfastness, Lord, to see us all the way through into the kingdom of God. Father, help us, Lord, to be passionate on fire for the word, God. Help us to declare it. Help us to not be afraid to be rejected for it. Help us not to be afraid to share it, even if we know others will reject it. Lord, just help us to be in the fear of the Lord and in the comfort of the Holy Ghost. So I pray for peace over my brothers and sisters. Peace and... um, comfort of the scriptures lord you said that the that these things were written aforetime yes. that we would even have comfort of the scriptures yeah. lord yes. so we just pray for that comfort yeah. that comes through knowing your scriptures lord that we're on solid ground and Thank we know what god. to expect we have the hope lord that living hope of heaven and and we know that all your promises in your word are true and faithful and that you are calling us to depend on these promises because it's depending on you when we do so. So we just thank you for keeping us. Thank you for continuing to build us. Bless all those saints that are listening online. Brother Louise, we love him, Lord. Let's help him feel our love. And all the saints online, Lord, let, let them feel our love, Lord. Our love for you and our love for them. God, because without you, we don't even have real love. So thank you for sincere love of the brethren. Thank you, Lord. And thank you for giving us a good outreach today. God, thank help you. us to preach your word. Yes, God. Help us to get a warning out, Lord, to these people. God, in, in my city and in Brother John's city. Yes, God. God, help us to do a good job. Help people to be pulling over, yes. God, and hearing about this Jesus and, and what it takes to go to heaven, God. Yes. Help people to fall in love with you. Yes. Help people to fear you, God. Help people to repent yes, of their evil ways. And let this teaching, God, do its work. God, help people all around the world to repent of false teaching and false uh, false doctrine and believe in the full counsel of biblical perfection, full counsel of the gospel, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Love it. Amen. Love the truth. Amen. Nothing like the truth.